He's back. The afternoon delight that once was is again. That's Mr. McSpicy streaming. I'm back and streaming. He's streaming every day, Monday through Friday. So five days a week, which is every day of the week. <sighs> Noon Eastern. <laughs> Noon Eastern. He's back, everybody. Join him. That's uh, if you can't make the early morning X1 stream, you can make the mid morning <laughs> Mr. McSpicy stream. Technically, it's early morning for me, too. It's, <laughs> it's all relative. Yeah. Time of day is all relative. It is. I mean, you know. But he's back. Uh, if, you, if you didn't happen to catch his stream this week, go, ch- go check him out. He was doing, you were playing a lot of Warframe. I was playing no, Warframe. Warframe. <laughs> I haven't Sorry. played Warframe in War like... Warhammer. They both start with war. Oh, yeah. Vermintide. Yeah. yeah. Tell me... So I, I reviewed it last time. We had a community review. Gave yes. it a B, It came out as a B-plus overall. I described it as Diablo meets Left 4 Dead and just so... Mu- I haven't had that much fun in a game in a while. Yeah. What did 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 it meet that expectation for you? Did it exceed it? What it, what do you think after now having jumped in a second week here? And you jumped in pretty hard. I've jumped in. I only go hard. Only go hard. I go one. What's it? What's the material essence? Hard. <laughs> I don't know what you would call that. Platinum. <laughs> I I go one. It's not a speed. It's a, a you know hard is a thing. They're yeah, yeah. soft and hard. Yeah, yeah. What is that? I don't know. It's got to be a I'm word. Not a, I'm not a scientist. It's got to end with the. Icity. Something icity. Toxicity. No, it's not toxicity. <laughs> no. I only got one hardness, and that is hard. <laughs> concrete level hard. Yes. You go concrete, baby. Concrete level hard when I do gaming. You go brick. I go I go brick. So how 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 uh give me your thoughts, your impressions. Were we correct, wrong, agree, disagree? Warhammer Vermintide, how was it for you? I don't remember what you said, but I really like the game. I'll be honest. I don't remember like past a couple days. Sure, <laughs> but you like the game. No, it's so fun. Yeah, it's what's really your favorite fun. character to play? The elf woman, dude. So I'm all about Skrillian or Daenerys, the first dude. Yeah. I don't remember his name, but watching you play elf, I might be switching to the elf. She's got this quick bow that's uh, extremely satisfying on all the right levels. Oh, yeah. And then she's got these two swords, two swords and the quick bow. Wood elf, pointy-eared, feminine, quick-bowed hottie. Yeah, that sounds like it should be on a resume. That's I want to play that character right up top. Who doesn't want to play that character? I know it's really fun. No, it's a super fun uh, character to play. Um, I really like the co-op nature. I still think it's very fun, even if you don't have a lot of friends online and you just go into the quick play. Uh, there have been instances where I've been kicked out, which is unfortunate. Um, but that said, it's, uh, it's got that like destiny vibe where you're all about, it's like the loot at the end of the, yeah the end of the journey. And then everyone takes a sec. Oh, I guess it's more like monster hunter, but that's kind of the same too. Diablo. Yeah. Or well, Diablo, you get the gear during the fight. No, that's Yeah. That's true. This that's is a good point. after, and you, it's like you, Ring. you've had opening chests. You've had the, uh, the explosion of awesomeness and now you can relax and go and go to the chest and be like, hmm, hmm. And then it builds back up to the awesome fights again. So I'm really, I really like it. Do you know what makes it really good? Yeah. Listen to ACDC while you play. That does make it good. Oh, my I mean, goodness. AC, listening to ACDC while you do anything makes, oh, that's makes true. it good. Yeah, that's a valid point. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. agree. Yeah. ACDC while being tortured here still, still makes it a good time. <laughs> yeah, it, ma- it makes the torture even more awesome. Goes from torture to sensual in two seconds with ACDC. I mean, that's basically what happens. <laughs> well, it's because of the bass riffs it's that they that, have, man. That guitar. Oh. Oh. oh, yeah, and then Angus guitar. Oh. Yeah. So good. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. This is podcast number 220. We are the X1 Bros. We're your positive gaming and Xbox One community. Uh, as always, I'm joined by Mr. McSpicy. Uh, hello. Here, <laughs> let me turn on my camera. Oh, there's this Hi. camera. Mr. McSpicy. I have to turn my camera on. Did we, did we level all the cameras? I don't think we did. We didn't, so this is going to be fun. George the man. <laughs> hello. There you oh, go. he came in okay. Yeah, he's fine. And last but not least, I am X1. We are the X1 bros. Really excited to be here. It's been a, it's been a long it's been a long week uh, for me anyways. It feels like it's been a long week. It's really hot outside. It's oh. the middle of summer. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. terrible. Things are either busy or you're on vacation. Mm-hmm. If you're on vacation, I'm envious mm-hmm. of you right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I I think I'm always on envy mode mm-hmm. when people go on vacation. <laughs> yeah, this is true. Mm-hmm. Well, it depends where you go. Well, anywhere. Well, well mm-hmm. like where would be a bad place to go on vacation? The in-laws. <laughs> no. That's not vacation. <laughs> vacation with the in-laws? Okay, but see with the in-laws, you're still at your own, you know, it's not like you're stuck in a room. I'm always in my head on vacation. 
What does that mean? It means you can't. You, it's a Truman Show. You never had a camera in my head. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> what do you, I, I don't, I'm not following. Uh, we took a left turn. I don't know what we're talking about either. <laughs> no, 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 vacation. Because, like, think about it. Now that we have, like, Nintendo Switches and oh, whatever. Oh, this is true, yeah. If you go anywhere in the world. You can escape. You can escape. Via the internet. <laughs> I Via. thought it's fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's funny is when I go on vacation, I'm kind of doing the same thing I do when I'm not working. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Because uh, the, sc- the sun scares me. And uh, outside is harsh. That's harsh. Uh, Beast420 wrote in, and I know this is in the mailbag segment, but he did write in and he asked, was Spicy killing it on his streams? Because you streamed this week. I'm killing it? You're killing it, man. I'm killing You're it. You're killing it. Literally, I did you, Vermintide. You, you, literally. I'm killing a lot of rats. Uh, does Jordan have any interest in solo streaming? One aspect of what makes you guys so entertaining is the combination of your unique personalities. It's fun to see each of you get your own time to shine. Big announcement. Eventually, so Jordan's in the middle of moving. <laughs> Big announcement. Even. One day. <laughs> no, uh, Jordan's in the middle of moving. I just wanted to answer that question. Yeah. Spicy now uh, will be daily. We've got two streams going a day. Uh, me in the morning, McSpicy. In the later in morning. The later morning. Jordan is going to be in the evening, but he's got to move into his, he's, he's in between houses. He's living in the basement of his in-laws. Right? He's at a vacation at his in-laws. Oh, at a vacation. Vacation. <laughs> yeah, which yeah. I noticed you spend an awful lot of time in the vacation at my house now. I don't think I've been over to your house this week at all. Yeah, you. Oh yeah, I had that yeah, one day. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. You don't. It's, it's gonna be crazy, man. It's gonna be crazy. Times. You don't know what you're gonna get. We're gonna play games from Ooh, all. I'm so excited. All different countries, oh. genres, languages, even. Oh, there we go. Actually, that's a good idea. I. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna okay. play a game I've never played before. Japanese. In in like no no, no Tagalog. Uh, yeah, in Tagalog. Oh. And I. And Whoa. And that's and no subtitles. And I'm just gonna try and figure out what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? That, yeah. Well, you can do that. Like that. You yeah. can do that while watching TV with any like Spanish novella or. But anything. let's do yeah. it with games. Ooh, that's yeah. actually really yeah. that's a good idea. idea. You know, do we're, it with we're a game play... where you already know the story. Dude, we're we're gonna play like we're gonna play games. We're like Final Fantasy Online. Oh yeah, we're gonna play those games. Oh, True like story. That. And then we're gonna play Jordan. Almost convinced, Xbox. Games. You almost convinced me to play Final Fantasy Online. Then we're gonna play Nintendo week. games. Almost. We're Has he been trying to convince you to play Final Fantasy Online? Well, Never, okay. not once. Actually, what, yeah, I don't, I don't honestly, think I what happened? <laughs> he didn't even try at all. He understands <laughs> oh, how I play sorry. games. It's, he it's knows not you. worth his time. <laughs> he knows you. Actually, what happened was we had our cousin who lives in Hawaii, who is really into MMOs and plays Final Fantasy Online, was here, and him and Jordan started nerding out over, over Final Fantasy Online. Yeah, yeah. A Realm Reborn. Let me Final Fantasy that. fourteen two. A Realm Reborn. A Realm Reborn. Yeah, yeah. gotta make sure it says it's, a Realm Reborn. It's a Realm Reborn. I'm, well, it's the second of the fourteen. No, 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 no. It's a realm reborn. Okay, I don't it's even in know the lore. Where, man. I, I don't even know what we're talking about. <laughs> anyway, so, this why Jordan, so Jordan's uh, been jumping on into yeah, some exactly. Final Fantasy. <laughs> he never invites me because of this reason. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand. Jordan, how are you liking Final Fantasy Online? Uh, it's a good time. Should it come to the Xbox? Yeah, it should. Could it come to the Xbox? No. <laughs> and with that, <laughs> let's get this show up. <laughs> because Sony owns it? or who, No, well, Square no, Enix, it's not right? Square Enix owns it, but the, you know, I'm just going to say it. Sony's, uh, they're playing hardball on the playground is what they're doing right now. Yeah, they're yeah. playing a little hardball on the play. I like my PlayStation. Yeah. I'd like it more if I could play with other people. Yeah. But they're uh, like the kid that no, says, what's if what's you going don't on play is my way, I'm taking my ball. You don't play my way. Literally. I'm taking, yeah, I'm taking my ball away. <laughs> like, there's a kid. You're going to play by my <laughs> rules. No, so like, well, there's wait, been a, that's a perfect it's like, example. It's like, it's like, it's like let's, let's pretend, let's pretend I'm PlayStation and, and Jordan is Nintendo. Yeah. And McSpicy, you're Xbox. Okay. And we're on. We're playing uh, Foursquare. <laughs> and I say, guys, you're. It, it's only. One, it's no, two bounces. No, hold on. Hold on. Two bounces. Let's set this up right. Okay. I'm on the playground, and I go, "Hey guys, come play Foursquare." You know, I'm inviting you. And I'm to already cross on my play. own Foursquare court. <laughs> yeah, I'm inviting you guys to come play Foursquare. And with I'm me. like, no, guys, no, you got to play my way. I have the ball. And we're all standing over in the other court, <laughs> and yeah. you guys are just standing together, <laughs> like, but we want to play together. And I'm like, no. Uh. I well, it's the, the <laughs> it's the same issue they're having with Fortnite. So Fortnite, so, as I understand right now, because there was no breaking news. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what? This is good. Oh. I lo- you're making a story out of nothing. This is awesome. <laughs> okay, well, so we're t- can I say something? We're ten this minutes. This just in nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so we're ten, we're ten minutes into this show, and you guys can attest. I was feeling mm. a little down before the show. Yeah, yeah. it's been a stressful week. 
It's, yeah, it's, you're a you're a kind of a bummer. I was kind of a bummer. I'm I well, a, I almost left. I'm not a fun guy to be around <laughs> when I'm a bummer. Anyways, we're ten minutes in, and I'm happy. That's what this yeah. show does. Just doing this show yeah. makes me happy. Yeah. Well, well, thank jo- you guys. So anyway. yeah. now shut up, because Jordan <laughs> okay, was saying okay, a story. Yeah. I love coming and getting berated by you guys, <laughs> and made every fun week. Of. It just made, it's so much fun. <laughs> yeah. Go, sorry, go ahead, Jordan. So, well, it's the same. It's the same issue Fortnite's having right now. So Fortnite can crossplay <laughs> through everything. I mean, it's amazing. Uh, but PlayStation players uh, can only play Fortnite on PlayStation. Is that, is that correct? Yeah, the, well, the account. It's, it's yeah. the account. It's, it yeah. goes one step further on Fortnite. Your account, if you have a PlayStation account, can't even like, access the, can't even the, access the uh, Epic Games account. Even like, if you delete your account, you can't use yeah. if you use like your same email. Yeah, because what you do you when, you log, in, when you log in when you log into Nintendo or, or, or Xbox, you, you link your accounts with the Epic account, yeah. essentially, and that's how it makes one broad account across the whole system. But Sony can't do that right now. Um, that's the problem they're having. The same same issue applies with uh, Final Fantasy uh, Realm Reborn because uh, PlayStation and, X- and PC... You use the word can't. I would use the word won't. Okay, won't. Yeah, yeah, yeah won't. The, thank you for correcting him. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> Um, <laughs> right now, uh, you, sure. you can play Final Fantasy A Realm Reborn on PlayStation 4 and PC, and those two talk to each other. They're yeah. good friends. They cross-play. Like uh, my friends. brother-in-law, uh, he used to play... Uh, uh, more than uh, friends, Force, lovers. Uh, Overwatch with us. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. You know him as well. Mac uh, Attack. Yeah, he... Uh, would pl- we'd play with each other back in the day when I had one of my older characters. I'd play on PC because I didn't have it on the PlayStation at the time, and then he'd, he'd play on playstation sure. and we can you know play together uh the reason i don't think it'll ever come to xbox is because of that issue right there you you can't you know playstation won't allow cross play so if you were to add it to xbox i mean i guess you could make xbox its own server which i would be a little upset with because i put a lot of time into the characters i have right now but i mean i guess you could, could make, you xbox make it your own, own server, server but keep your account why couldn't you do that well i guess they can do like eso did an account transfer um, you know, I don't. You I don't know how hard, but ESO only offered that for like a little bit of time. Okay, let me ask you time. this: Let's say Final Fantasy Online comes to the Xbox One. I, that would be great. Wait, wait, wait. But only with an account, one-time account transfer. Would you make? Would you be all in and, and transfer your account over yeah, to the Xbox yeah. One? Yeah, wow. I did it for ESO. See, that's what what people when they talk about uh, why we get an Xbox when I get to PC, why I get a PlayStation when I get to PC. So, I know I would rather play on. Like for instance, I love Crusader Kings. I would I would play Crusader Kings on the Xbox over the PC if they did it correctly. You know, it's hard to do with a mouse and keyboard. But it's well, the relaxing factor. Mike Spice, you always talk about that, the relaxing yeah. factor. And I just There's one thing I know how to do hard. It's relax. <laughs> <laughs> hard. Full blast relaxer oh. right there. Oh yeah, that's that's my that's my And shtick. so I do think that argument, like why get why 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 get why why get the, an Xbox when I could get a PC? Because there are there, it's it's different because you yeah, can do different, different things. Experience. It's a different yeah. experience. The same game, different experience. Because I have a controller, I can sit back on a couch so anyway, I, on a big TV. I would love Final Fantasy to come to the console. Sure. It's, it's I've played it with the controller. It's not it's not perfect. I mean, I prefer the keyboard and mouse in, in that game. But yeah. they've done a decent job at porting it to the console. Basically, your face buttons are all your abilities, and then your triggers are your modifiers, like your shift one, shift two. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? So it's it's not bad, uh, but. Yeah, I don't think it'll come to console because uh, PlayStation's got the crossplay with the PC, mm. and you know they won't allow. Yeah, make spicy. Besides, things, besides your stream time where you did a lot of Warhammer, you did some trials today. I did two trials. Watching, I had to switch things up. Trials makes me want to jump. It's a, what a good game. Yeah, any trials. Yeah, what yeah. a good game. Trials. Did HD. you did you have any personal game time? Uh, what did you play in your personal game time? Uh, Overwatch. So over, jump back hard into Overwatch. Yeah, not as hard. I mean, but I hard-ish. You did everything hard. <laughs> well, C- concrete. Yeah, that's true. This is not concrete. It was, it was is, more of a. Uh, it was more of like a soft wood. <laughs> oh, pine. Gotta be careful. Yeah, pine? like pine. Like exactly. Hard like pine. Yeah, yeah. It was like hard. It. It was, yeah, you can hit it with a hammer and it would dent. Okay. Okay. <laughs> that's what I, that was an Overwatch. This so week you for pined me. it. You pined some Overwatch. <laughs> I pined some Overwatch. <laughs> it wasn't a maple. It wasn't the hardwoods. You know. How was it? Are you uh, climbing the ladder, doing ranked or casual? What's uh, what's your mode of play? Oh, I always do. I always do ranked. There's, I feel there's no point in playing any other mode. Yeah, because I want to Again, test my if you're skills. You're gonna go go hard. Yeah, that's okay, basically you're right. That philosophy let's let's right up there. it up to oak. Yeah, oak. <laughs> yeah, that's oak. If you did rank, you're at least oak. Uh, exactly. <laughs> so, <laughs> hey, Jordan was speaking earlier about doing a like changing the language of a game and just trying <laughs> to figure things sure. out. Yeah. I gotta tell you, I have experience in that, and it's oh, awesome. Nice. Really? Yeah, uh, the crew too. Okay. It glitched. 
and the language switched automatically, and I can't change it back. It's permanently in Japanese. And oh. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, you know how crappy that storyline is? It becomes way more entertaining. It's like intense when he's like, ooh, ungu sugada, oh. <laughs> as you're racing, and you're like, oh my gosh, they're right. I, he's right. I got to beat this race. That is awesome. Yeah. Do that. Everybody, if the game sucks, change it to Japanese audio, and you're going to love it. Dude, that's so cool. You're going to love it. Oh, you changed, changed it away before I, I pointed. I decided to mess with them <laughs> right there. If you haven't, come join us over on Mixer. It's a good time. Yeah. Mixer.com forward slash X1 Bros, where you can watch the show live. You can also join us every weekday. We've got two streams going. We're going to have another, add another one in there uh, eventually. It's just a fun time, a great way to, to hang out one-on-one, play some games, have some discussion, get to know each other better. Mixer.com forward slash X1 Bros. I want to talk a little bit about our community challenge. We do a community challenge. Uh, we did the crew too. Yeah, Las Vegas Strip, the change, Strip South. Change it to change it to Japanese. Just change, change your life. To, yeah. Oh. oh. That, they really do that in the like in the subtitles, and it doesn't like because I have English on because I want to kind of understand. Oh, so you so. can still see what's going on. The language is permanently in Japanese, <laughs> and I can't change it. Wow. And uh, yeah, it's it makes it really cool. Ooh. They do, do that a lot. Do you think I, it's expensive to get words dubbed. Like to pay do you think it's expensive? Yeah, because they have to pay people to do that, right? Isn't there like an Amazon site or something? Or <laughs> probably. They're they probably just like order automa- it in? It's probably like an automation thing. No, well, Funimation does that, don't they? Jordan's not paying yeah, attention to Funimation us. does. Funimation, and they do it really quick. They have like the same actors and everything yeah, because for all the, the animes. Yeah. Uh, uh, Sword Art Online main character is also the main character in uh, Attack on Titan. Yeah, Aaron. I Aaron. would love to be a, a voice actor for an anime. Don't you think that'd be That's a fun my, time? You know what? That's going on my bucket list. Let's just make... I tell Jordan, let's make an anime. Aren't you... Aren't you... The people you work with, aren't they making animes? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Your bosses? Yeah. Can we Wait. voice them? They are? Can we voice them? Yeah, yeah ask yeah, they, them if they we can voice them. And... Here's our resume. We do a podcast. Sugara! <laughs> <laughs> You've heard my voice. <laughs> I would be the bad guy. What? I don't know. I can't do a voice. I don't know what voice I would do. Or I, I don't know. I'd like to be an animal. An anime always has an, like, an animal with them. Yeah, Any they animal. do. Yeah. Yeah. They go, pika, pika. I'd be like, hi. <laughs> hi. I will save you. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't go. I will save you, master. <laughs> I, that's my. I, I think that just hit that's my a good bucket, bucket list. list. That's a good bucket list. I like new that. bucket list. Be an anime character voice. We're gonna do a new community challenge. Guess what that community challenge is gonna be, everybody? That community challenge is gonna be Trials Fusion. I keep wanting to say HD Trials Fusion. That's this right. Is, Trials Fusion. Our community challenge. This is a four-year-old game, I think. Right. It's a four-year-old game. If you don't, is it on Game Pass? Games Pass. Game. Games. Uh, Passes up. <laughs> Games are passes. Game pass. Is it on? Ga- is it on? I don't think it is. Don't game know. must pass. <laughs> I got. Everyone gave me a hard time for saying games pass last week, so I'm trying hard to say game pass. Yeah. That's uh, cool. What was the question? Uh, is trials on Game Pass? I don't think. Oh, it is. I don't think it yeah, is. I can pull it up. It it's probably super cheap though, especially right now. Yeah. I'm sure there's a sale going oh, on. Or oh something. yeah, because there's a big sale on exactly right now. Game must. <laughs> Games are passu. <laughs> Anyways, so we are doing a community challenge there on the level. I'm just gonna look up the game. Turbine Terror. Turbine Terror is level. It's the first level in the game. What you got to do? You got to go to Discord. There's a community challenge tab channel. Click on that. Take a take a screenshot of your time. Post it there with Winner, your gamer tag. With your gamer tag your time, and then a picture underneath there. You will see the format over on Community Challenge. Do not post your time. So whoever posts their time first, right now, there's no time over there. Go post your time from Turbo or Turbine, Turbine Terror. Turbine right now, Terror. it's the first level in the game. Go post it there right now, and then you're, you set the bar. You cannot post a, a picture of a time unless it's the fastest. The it's, next unless fastest it's time. faster. Faster than the time that's already yeah. posted there. We're going to do it for a week. The winner gets uh, one month Xbox Live. Yeah, and also let's point out that we we are excluded. Yeah, we're excluded after the crew. We we got really competitive. <laughs> Me and David, we, we were top one hundred <laughs> <with the> crew. <laughs> so we're excluding ourselves. I'm still gonna try for it, just yeah, for fun. But even if we have the top times, Jordan has me beat too. Jordan on that one, yeah, yeah. yeah. On the were trials those one? were those really fast times that you guys yeah, have? Up they're there? really fast. Wow, on trials, yeah, on trials, yeah. Nice. Anyway, yeah. So if, if we win, it doesn't count. It no, goes we to get. The, we have to get each other burgers. Well, yeah, yeah. But if we win, the Xbox goes to the second place person. Only or the community member. Will community members. We're just. Yeah, we're we're, we we want to post our too. times. No. Well, yeah. Okay. I kind of want to post. No, my I time. want to post my time. Yeah. Let we'll us just post our time. But yeah. then no one's going to. I mean, if 
if we fine if we're in the same situation, no one will be able to post their times because it won't be the next fastest. Okay, so we just won't post oh, their times. Okay. We'll talk yeah. about it on the show. Okay, okay, okay. okay Here's okay. the deal: Turbine Terror. It's the first level in the game. Post your fastest time in the community challenge channel yeah. on our Discord server. Discord. It will end. It. it ends the minute this podcast begins next Friday. So you have exactly one week. Well, you have you have one week and one day. And we we have a team checking those times. So one don't week, think we don't. one day. Head over to Discord. If you haven't joined us on Discord yet, your life probably sucks a little bit. <laughs> but really, come over, hang out, have fun. It's an amazing community. Just head over to x1bros.com forward slash Discord to join the server. It's where we hang out. We chat all things games 24 hours a day, seven days a week. We have cool community challenges like this. Go check it out. Join the community challenge. Trials, fusion, turbine, terror. Really excited to see what everybody does. I'm excited to jump back into trials. It's going to be a good time. Can you make a private channel just for us three to post our times? I really just want to post stuff. I mean, we can do a private chat between the three of us. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. I just want to post my time. I want to visually see. We can post our time at the end of the week. We'll post (laughs) our time at the end of the week. Okay. That's what we'll do. I don't like that. Yeah. uh, yeah. (laughs) Yeah, I I mean, I kind of like it. Why don't you like it? Well, because if someone beat me, I'd like to go back and beat them, you know? Well, but you can, you can have still access see it. to everyone's time. You just want people to see how awesome you are. No, no, no. I, You're for prideful. us three, I want, yeah, I want to show you guys. Prideful. Like, we have our own pride. Pride, pride alert. Pride, pride cometh before pride, the fall. Pride <laughs> alert. We have our own private chat. Okay, fine. So I'm just going to text it to you guys. There's been a lot of talk this okay. week. Miss M- Miss Mina in chat, Mrs. Mina in chat is saying they want to know how we do too. So we yeah. got to figure out a way to post. We'll, po- it. we'll post it before. I'll the put show mine on Twitter, Friday, and we'll talk about it. But they found it really entertaining when we went like super crack. Like we okay, that's what I'm saying. Okay, what we'll if we, post our times. What if we'll we? Post our times. What if we lock a channel that's just ours? No, no, we'll put it in community challenge, and we'll just put an asterisk. Our times don't count. Okay, but they, we'll, well, okay, we'll just do our time. Well, no, 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 yeah, we're yeah. part of the community. We're included in the community challenge. No, no, no. If we win, no one gets the Xbox Live Gold card. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's how we're gonna do it. I think that's how we do it. This isn't an everybody gets a trophy. Yeah. you gotta be the best. It's not a participation this podcast. Is not a participation podcast. This was basically a board meeting on how to do a uh, <laughs> we basically a community event. Yeah, you guys is. just witnessed it, <laughs> just, and we just came up with woo! screw everyone else. <laughs> we just went everywhere. everywhere. Okay. So post your fastest time. The winner is the winner. Winner take all. Winner take all. It doesn't matter if it's us or you. Okay. There if, you go. if we win, we don't get the game pass. So it just rolls over to the next month. Yeah, it just rolls over okay. to the next, not month, but whatever the challenge is. Yeah, it rolls so over to the next challenge. Until we yeah. figure out a challenge. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay deal? Deal. 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 Yeah. yeah. Okay. You guys witnessed it. Here. <laughs> Boom. We'll sign a contract later. <laughs> sign a contract later. It's a verbal later. contract. It's good <laughs> enough. Um,. What? So a lot, yeah. a lot of I want to talk about this week uh, the new Xbox called Project Scarlet. Project uh, Scarlet, sure. Project Scarlet. Yeah, yeah why, are we, why are we talking about? Uh, that? Just came out in the news. <laughs> a lot of a lot of a lot why of news we, about it. Jordan, why do we talk about anything? <laughs> <Yeah>. Like seriously, <laughs> to discuss. Oh, sorry. Where's my? Here we go. Uh, yeah, it came out in the news, and I thought we'd just go over it and 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 ask you know just talk what we want to see out of it, what the new Xbox will be, what we expect, et cetera, et cetera. So we know from E3, Phil, we were there, Phil Spencer came on stage and he said, it's, uh, we're making it. He said, our hardware team is deep into developing the next generation of Xbox consoles where we will once again deliver on our commitment to set the benchmark for console gaming. Question for you, Mick Spicy. Oh, for I'm me. Looking, I'm looking <clears throat> at you. I'm ready. My body is ready. Well, when it releases, so because the PlayStation Five is is expected to release in two years, I think everybody is expecting. You know, they release at the same time, so the Xbox will release around the same time. Do you think initial releases that the Xbox under Phil Spencer will remain the most powerful console? Well, yeah, that's why he said that. <laughs> I'm saying it and doing it are two different things. Do you th- do you think? No, they made a mistake. Originally, I mean, several years ago, they made a mistake, and they weren't. The yep. most powerful console, and they took a ding. They're not with the amount of resources Microsoft has. There, they do hardware now, software, they, software. Engineering. They're yeah, they are not going to make that same mistake twice. They yeah. are going to go out hard. Yeah, they're going to go like. Yeah. I agree with you. I agree. I think I don't. I don't. So here's the thing. I don't think it's all about power, but I think power gives you an advantage. Obviously, right? Yeah. For sure. Like, yeah. well, yeah. The, and what's funny is. Unless you ignore it, like Nintendo does. Yeah, yeah. They straight up ignore power. Yeah, they don't care about power. They don't care about it at all. No. But but the Xbox and the PlayStation and PC gaming, they have a very... I mean, 
the the game is everything, right? You get a really pretty game that sucks, no one's going to buy it. That said, we like we like powerful things. Yeah. We love to have the world's I mean, I love the fact that my console is the world's most powerful console. Yeah. I don't I, and that doesn't I don't I don't know. That's not a negative. Let's put it that <laughs> yeah, way. Yeah. It's a good thing. Yeah. And people like that. Not only is it the world's most powerful console, but it's clo- it's it's bringing PC level specs to a console first time ever with the Xbox One X with their with their in-house chip, you know what I mean? They they built everything specific for the Xbox in order to to do that. Oh yeah, they they That's reverse an engineering feat. They reverse engineered it and it's a marvel. Yeah. yeah, it really is. So yeah. So what was the question again? I don't know if <laughs> Just, I answered it. No, you did. Just if you think <laughs> I I agree with you. I think that they will be it will be That's first goal, let's be the most powerful games console out there. A couple yeah. moves that are in their favor. If you remember, so a lot of people forget because I disagree with the premise that it's all about game. That is, I, I don't disagree with the premise that's all about games. I disagree with the premise that the reason the Xbox is failing is because they don't have these AAA exclusives. I completely actually disagree with that premise. The more that I think about it, their problem from the beginning, it, it was the beginning. They it was a hundred dollars more. It sold with the Connect. It was a weaker machine. Yeah. Then you had the DRM marketing and all that that went into it. I think they just tripped out of the gate. Connect. There's not even an option for Connect. Got rid of that. Yeah. Um, don't not wasting their time with VR ultimately because I don't think VR is there yet. It, uh, do you think in the next console that VR will be there? I think you have to be able You'll to have support the op- VR. Yeah, they'll they'll have to. I mean, PCs support VR too. But I'll be honest, and I might get some flack for this. Yeah. VR is just a party trick for me. Uh, same. I feel the exact same it's way. It's just a party trick. Until so. a game comes along or a developer comes along and fully utilizes VR and makes a full game, I just don't know. Can you spend 40 hours inside a VR headset? I, I just, I don't know. Well, can you spend 40 hours gaming? Like, whoa, well, that's no, but, pretty hardcore. I, I just don't, well, well, I guess. Can you sit there for three days on. <laughs> well, there's and, just so many. Number one, I mean, the whoa. hardware, the hardware that it takes in order to do it. And number two, there's problems with motion sickness. There's problems. It's the yeah, same problems that, that you have, like when you have to wear glasses and you've, you're not used to wearing yeah, glasses. I think their biggest problem, and it's just a. And well, there's lots of problems that they have to work out, right? The tech, just like you said, the tech isn't there. I hate the fact that I, when I when I use the VR, I'm looking at a fisheye lens. Mm. You know, eyes are meant to be 35 millimeter. They're meant mm. to see. They're a certain distance, 35 to 50 millimeter. They're used to a certain distance, and when you put that on, everything's like a bubble. Yeah. And when you look around, everything kind of is fisheye, and that and that's what causes motion sickness. As a photographer, that pisses me off. Yeah. Because that's not my eyes. Yeah. Why do they do that? I, I, I think that's Technology, just ha- I think that's just how it is. It. Yeah. The way they have to do it to make it look like it's actually well, a thing. Well, because your eye, each eye is seen through a separate lens, right? Yeah. And then they're merging those together, and so that's what. Yeah, I think that's. The Disney Channel showed me that with the glasses. You remember when they used <laughs> yeah, to have those little yeah, thing yeah, eyes? I yeah. think I remember. So I, I, I hate the fact that it's like it's like at a 16 millimeter. It's like a huge fisheye lens. And that, that, that throws me off. I, I mean, whatever. That's me being really picky about it. But I think it's... It's just know. not there yet. I don't think yeah. the PlayStation 4 is going to launch with VR big news. If you look, this last E3, PlayStation really didn't focus on VR at all. I think that's telling. I, I don't know what they focused on. To be honest with you, <laughs> well, oh, they focus on their three big games. The trumpet, Spider-Man. remember the trumpet player, yeah, Spider Man. Last that of was, Us. played one note. I, the best part of that, <laughs> the best part of that conference. And I'm not trying to knock PlayStation at all. I, I, we like PlayStation, but the best part of that conference was when it flashed to the crowd, and that one guy was like clapping and looking around, <laughs> He's like, like, looking around like, like, what, what do I do? Now? Yeah. Where's the clap now, son? He was like looking at all the other guys. Well, like, it showed the audience a couple times, and they all looked confused, and I was confused, but it made it funny. Just yeah. the the, tr- the the piano player. Uh, Dietrich oh, in man. chat says, "From everything I've heard, Elite Dangerous is one of the few that do VR right." There's where I think you can do VR right in a space simulator. That makes sense. Well, you're, you're in the Elite Dangerous. Pit. You're not moving around. A race car game, you can do VR in because you're do- you're not moving. You're not you're in a car I sitting. Move. You move in a car. <laughs> you I really just, do. Uh, yeah. You just get out. What do you just, just, yeah, like? What do you do? Like, like, I switch whoa. seats. Whoa. <laughs> do cartwheels? You're a wild man. You are a wild man. No, yeah, I, I think Elite Dangerous is the exception. I think that's a perfect game for perfect it. Perfect game for it. I agree yeah. with that. Or like I said, a race car. Anything where you're stationary in a machine moving. Like that fits a VR type of thing. I don't. I just don't think any next generation console is going to launch with VR focus. I just don't think we're there yet. I think it's going to be more powerful consoles, mm-hmm. higher frame rates, obviously. Well, the big thing is going to be high frame rates. Well, I think the big thing for the next console 
Mm-hmm. It would be awesome if they can come out and say every game can be 60 frames. The, the biggest thing is getting 60 frames in 4K at the same time. That's, yeah. that's I think, going to be your biggest challenge, right? Because well, right already, now, I mean, right you're now, you're already doing that. You're already doing that, doing that with the Xbox One X. No, 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 no. Yeah, Forza, no, Forza native 7? 4K, 60 frames? Forza 7. That, that's what they said. Yeah. Well, yeah, Forza 7, but I'm yeah. talking like... Digital Foundry. Yeah, no, no. Okay, okay yeah, yeah, I get that. But like, well, all what are you games, trying to say, Jordan? Every game, like it's every it's, like for example, the minimum, it becomes the new. Minimum it becomes standard. the minimum. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And okay. that that I think is going to be the new big because you got 4K 60 frames on Forza, which you're correct, right? Yeah. Which is great. But games like uh, let's like, like The Witcher, like uh, so games that know. are like four years old. <laughs> no, no, but I saying. mean more more games other than just Forza. You think it will become the next? Standard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like when Halo comes out, it's going to be 4K 60 frames per second, yeah. or when the next, you know, that'll be the standard, right? Well, so, yeah. So Phil Spencer, in an interview with a Japanese new pa- newspaper, what's it, uh, Weekly Famitsu, I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. I'm Famitsu. actually I'm actually subscribed to them. Are you really? Yeah. Oh, don't. Lie. <laughs> <laughs> They specially okay. yeah. Well, Spencer, Phil Spencer stated he would like to improve <laughs> on the Xbox One X with the next generation of how Xbox um, of Xbox, which will place the gamer at the center. So he wants to make basically he's saying he wants to remain the most powerful console. He said key areas to focus on will be resolution and frame rate. And Microsoft is already working with multiple hardware companies to build new hardware. Spencer also oh, stated yeah. in the interview that uh, investing in artificial intelligence is going to be very helpful for the future of gaming. So I think that was the conversation they had before Terminator happened. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's funny. That's, that is. That is. Probably. Spice, you were going to say something? No, so. I had to sit through Jordan looking at me, having the look of, did you listen to what he's saying? Do you, can you hear how right I am? <laughs> and I wasn't... I wa- even Me and Phil think on the same even page. Even we don't say he runs, he assumes we think he's wrong. <laughs> yeah. Like, I, I, I was like looking at you like, it's cool, man. <laughs> Whatever. I Luke Skywalkered you. <laughs> what does that even mean? So so let's 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 tackle Xbox. Well, I chewbacca you back, okay? <laughs> Xbox One next generation release games. Games need to be at the center of it. Both Mikey Barra, who... The man. Might be in chat right now. I don't know, actually. Sometimes Mikey Barra watches the podcast. Yeah. He pops Anyways, by. Mikey Barra and Phil Spencer uh, in Weekly Fitzsamu talked about games being at the center. they really focusing. They We obviously know they got their first party developers. Mm-hmm. Uh, but this is what I'm excited for. He tra- uh, Phil Spencer has traveled to Japan many times, and Spencer has stressed the importance of working closely with Japanese developers. He says the Xbox One is designed, or the next generation Xbox, box is designed with developers in mind uh, and a lot of Japanese developers. I think that's a good thing. No, no, no. It, but Okay, I, what? Okay. Okay, use your words, Jordan. Yeah. Well, is, isn't the Xbox One architecture going to be like the same going forward? Yeah, that's why we're going to keep... Yeah. So isn't the current Xbox design it is, for yes. developers? I think you know what he's mean? just like reaching out. So, okay, like yeah. saying, hey, we're... Okay. He says, uh, Spencer stated that Japanese developers are now, now supporting the Xbox and Japanese Xbox gamers will have a lot to look forward to good, in the future. Good. So that's where maybe you're going to get some of these Final Fantasy like titles, uh, yeah. Octopath Traveler type of titles, which I think the Xbox, in all in all seriousness, that's where they do lose to Sony is in those titles. Sony does have those titles. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Do you think? Do you think that we will see a lack of first party titles, or do you think that they're going to live up to their promise? Spicy. Well, you just bought. Oh. No, ask Jordan again because I wasn't oh, paying attention. Sorry, to the no, I was like, well, yeah, I mean, you just bought five of them in addition to the the ones you already own. I mean, I think I think we're in a great spot for first party titles. Yeah. No, I agree. Yeah. I now, agree. whether whether they're safe, they they probably have a, like I'm sure some of those studios are focused on working on games for this launch of the new box coming out in two years, right? Yeah. So we might not hear from them for a while, but I mean, I think we're gonna have a lot of first party titles. And what makes me excited is this is gonna be the first time. Well, not the first time, but I mean, almost the first time where I have, I mean, we have we have hundred plus games on our consoles right now. Yeah. I, I know all three of us do. This is gonna be the first time we jump into a new console, not only get the launch titles, but can continue playing what we've been oh, playing. You know what I mean? Be, like that's it's gonna be beautiful. And it's if they do it the way they did the Xbox One X, where we we brought home the Xbox One X and we just plugged in our hard drive and it worked, or you just did the network transfer. I mean, the ease of that is gonna be amazing with a new powerful console that hopefully, like he was talking about. Focusing on resolution and frame rate, all games coming out from that point forward will have a minimum of 4K, 60 yeah. frames. I mean, that would be awesome, right? I'm just really excited. Yeah. 
No, yeah. I, I I agree. The more a lot of rumors were leaking this week, and a lot of yeah. people discussing it on the interwebs, and I thought I I really ex- think exciting. the smartest move is basically saying, hey, no matter when you buy an Xbox, anything previous is going to come with you. I, I think yeah. the more you think about that, that's awesome, right? So let me let me ask you this: We know that Microsoft, or it was rumored, anyways, that Microsoft was really working with Steam or trying to work with Steam. It, with the Xbox One when it, before it even launched, that's that's at least a rumor, right? Uh-huh. Do you think they'll go with with how digital we are now, Mick Spicy? Do you think that the next generation Xbox will be more Steam like, like a more Steam like interface with uh, your your entire library, crazy sales all the time? You think it will be? Wait, we'll see something more like that. Doesn't the Xbox already do that? Yeah, I just Jordan just pointed at me and he said, means you're right. and he looked at you. <laughs> that means you're he right. looked at you he and said. You hearing this? Oh, he, this no, no, you hear how no, no. right hey, I am? And no, no, I was no, no. the one who said it. Jordan, give, give Mixer that look. Give I him just, that look. I Go just, ahead. No, no. Give give uh, it to the, like, uh, that right there. That's it. That's it. Demeaning. Demeaning. <laughs> like, he made it sound like he answered that. He made it look like it was his answer. No, no. I just... I, it ar- I mean, it already yeah. does. Sure. Like, I mean, we have all the games, and then there's always sales. And that, you know. Yeah. And then there's always the Xbox <laughs> Live Gold and all that. So Stop. just continuing on, then basically what we're already at, then you don't you don't see us like how we're, we're already Steam like. I guess I guess you're correct. It, we're yeah. already Steam like. What the, I guess they can change the UI around a little bit. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Like, what they could they do is have really UI. annoying pop ups all the time that say Steam game sell that Same. I don't That's care what? about at all, <laughs> and scroll through. You have to scroll through fifteen of them before you can get into Steam. It hopefully That's gets really super funny. annoying like that. Yeah. Continued cross-platform. You Sarcasm. think that, that, that is taken to a new level? Oh, that's all developer-based. So I think, yeah. I mean, basically, they set themselves up in a way like the next generation. Do what they want, next know? generation. Do you think Sony continues with not allowing cross-play, or you think they hey, their hand will be forced? I I don't know. I think their hand will be forced. Yeah. I th- I think you'll have to think if they if they don't, they're gonna have they're gonna have the Xbox One launch. For next generation, like if think about it, Microsoft comes out. We have the most powerful. Let's just assume all things go their way. We have the most powerful console. You can play. You can play your games anywhere. <coughs> all of our exclusives also on PC. Hey, look, here's Halo Infinite. Guess what? You can also play on your PC. And here's um, what Fallout seventy six that you can also cross play with Xbox and, and PC. And PlayStation comes out and says, "Here's our system. It's not as powerful, and you can't cross play." Like that. That would be a not a good PR mm-hmm. PR move. Yeah, I well, think their hands gonna be forced. Everything's going cross play. That's the future of gaming. Play anywhere, play anywhere, play anywhere, however you want. Yeah. Boom. Unless they don't, now, and then no one cares. Now the biggest thing here is, I mean, I you, mean that's kind of the trend. Yeah. You bring true. up a you bring up an interesting <laughs> concept. So, because I mean, yeah, there there there's two ways up, they can approach it. They can go, they can cave and do it, or they can just ignore it entirely, <laughs> and then then we keep playing games. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you bring up an interesting point with that because does play so I mean at Microsoft not this last E three but last year's uh, when they or the year before remember when they first announced Project Scorpio yeah. and Phil Spencer came out and said you know everything that works for previous Xboxes will work yeah. for Scorpio now I took that as any future generation I don't know if they've talked about it since no, then, it but is. every Xbox you'll yeah. be able to go back to your previous yeah, library and bring it all up with you right so that's that's why I'm assuming that right sure now do you think PlayStation will set up their new console to do the same thing. Yeah, you have to. You know they, what I mean? You can't, you, can't, you can't change it. Because it, it was... The only way that you could change it, it is was, if you do a Nintendo and you go handheld, where you're just using completely something yeah. completely different. Because I know to do a lot of backward compatibility with discs and stuff, it like it takes work on, on the part of the, the console, right? So, yeah. I mean... And that's why consoles originally didn't do that, because it wasn't worth the time to do... You know what I mean? That's why it was quite an engineering feat when they did it on Xbox, but... So that's why I'm wondering for PlayStation 5 and your Xbox Scarlet. Well, we know Xbox Scarlet's already going to do it, but will PlayStation 5... Like, for example, why do you think PlayStation 5 will make it to where I can bring all my Unchar- Uncharted 4 with me to PlayStation 5 and, yeah. and all God of War to PlayStation 5? Yeah, you know I what I mean? So. Yeah. You think I think so? that's the new standard. Or do you think they're going to have you pay for it in a re- in re- the, re-release? In PlayStation yeah. Now. Type no, of thing, so. no, I think I think that's the new standard. Okay. I think it has to be. when when You would be the only console besides the Nintendo, but the Nintendo is, is kind of on its own. Because they don't care. Yeah, That's true. what I'm it's, saying. It's true. So like, they don't it, is care. A, it is a strategy well, that but here's apparently the thing. works. If you don't care, I think you're going to have, but you're they gonna don't have care the Xbox have One launch. I think that's what you're going to have. Uh, b- placed it, the PlayStation no, version. No, I think... I think uh, how, can, how can you spin that positively? You just don't care. <laughs> 
That's how you do it. But Nintendo gets away with it because they're, because uh, they're they so no, no, but they're so happy because they're 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 not competing. Who are they competing with? They're not competing with other consoles. They're everybody, not competing with the same. Market. Everybody that owns a PlayStation also owns a Nintendo. Everybody that owns an Xbox also owns a Nintendo. Everyone that owns a, pl- a PC also owns. Nobody on PC is like I'm not getting a Nintendo no. Switch because I'm and getting a PC. The reason is because they have the I don't care attitude. Like, eh. No, but they we'll have do a mobile dude, one. I, they I think it's how they just talk to people. Market. No, this will be Mario Thirty Three. <laughs> I don't. They, we don't care, and let's not tell them anything. But it, they don't do it with that attitude. They do it in such a happy attitude it's that true. you're just like you do it with wow. a smile. But yeah. see, with we don't Mar- know what's going when on. Mario, <laughs> when Mario is your spokesperson, yeah. you can do anything. Do you remember when the well, guy no, came like, out? Think of that. Think of that. He's an iconic character, but he's a plumber. But no, do you remember? He's an overweight plumber. Plumber always saves your life, man. Do you remember? Oh, you got, that's you true. got plumber problems. I'm not saying <laughs> plumbers are wrong. I'm just saying that's a unique approach to having your icon of your system. It's true. It's true. I mean, it's not a master I mean, chief. Xbox is master chief. Play, wh- what's PlayStation's iconic? Nathan, Nathan Drake. Drake. Nathan Drake. Drake yeah. yeah. Freaking Indiana Jones. I mean, <laughs> you have and a plumber. You have a what? Is he an, an, an Italian plumber? I don't even know what he is. I think he's Italian. Is he Italian? He's Itali- I think he's Italian. confirmed he's like, Italian, of Italian that's, descent. That is an attitude of, meh, let's no, just but do this. They're so, they're, so ex- they're, they're so excited and happy. Do you remember when they were talking about the Switch and the guy came out and he goes, hey, guys, look how I can play this game. And he laid on his, and, and he, he was so happy. Side. And you're like, I would never play like that, but now I want to. <laughs> you know, like he was so, and then when he talked about the ice, like he was like, check this out. We made a demo about ice, and he, he's so happy. He's like, I can feel everything. And, and you're like, like wow, my, my goodness, I want to play that game. Like, it's just, it's how no, they... I think, re- I think Nintendo is in their position because of their attitude. But their attitude is so happy when they say things. <laughs> yeah. Like, that's how... Eh. And they, it's just I, like, to this day, eh. they have the best patch notes I've ever read in my life. I know. <laughs> well, we patched it. <laughs> fixed it. We patched it. All right, it's been fixed. <laughs> <laughs> No, so no, no, fluff. Just one right thing to the point. that I do think where we're going to see a direction on the Xbox, especially because Xbox has, has really has really embraced this as of late. Mm-hmm. Uh, the PC has, I mean, it's just it's natural on the PC, but the Xbox has really embraced it. Mods. I think we're going to see almost every game. Every game have mods. I think we're going to see not in play. Nintendo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, you're not. No, no, but on the Xbox, I think we're going to see. Uh, single player games move that way. I, th- I think that will be the new standard. They keep your games alive. They keep you, pr- you even mm-hmm. mods if you have to purchase mods or whatnot. But you're going to have, they're going to open up consoles yeah. to the modding world, well, I believe. Bethesda is really the only one that's utilized it. I don't know of any other games besides Bethesda games that have Grand opened Theft up. Auto. They let mods come Can't you on create, the Xbox? Oh, yeah, you for sure. Yeah. On, stuff. yeah. If you think about it, Minecraft on the Minecraft, Xbox. Minecraft yeah. oh, okay. basically has. Yeah. <laughs> Mine, the whole point of Minecraft <laughs> is to mod the world, mod, right? Yeah. yeah. But, uh, no, yeah, I think more developers will probably utilize it. You have to do the mods on a PC Oh, first. but then you can send yeah. them to the Xbox. Yeah. Okay. Well, I think that's... that's well, same, still, same with that's, Bethesda, you know. will stay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, but that, uh, that, having that, access to the mods. That mod. makes sense because <laughs> yeah. I've never been able to get into the game engine <laughs> stuff <laughs> oh, deep in my Xbox. Uh, you, Halo, like, find Halo, the files? Halo 5 <laughs> is mods. The oh, yeah, Forge mode. Planets. You're right. Forge yeah. mode. They, I think so, they actually started mods. I think that's. I think next generation. That's going to be a giant feature. Is community created mm-hmm. content. Well, that was the joy of those games. Of like, remember Project Spark that went away. I was really sad to see that one go. Yeah. I mean, it, yeah. th- th- all Do you those still games are installed. I, I, I think I, it's in there. I think if I you think uninstall it, you can't get it. You back, can't get right? it back. Yeah. yeah. So it's like. Oh shoot! Don't uninstall that. Uh, that's why I still have Xbox Fitness. <laughs> I haven't understood the like historic <laughs> thing. Yeah, yeah, that's it's thing. Now here's the question: Will that one come with you since it's installed <laughs> to the next? Oh, yeah. oh, that's. I gotta transfer it to my network, network transfer. Yeah. Okay, no. yeah. let me ask you this: last last point on just talking about new next generation console here. They're moving more, you know, bringing more features. We think they're bringing more features like mods to it. They're much more. I mean, they're up there with PC stuff. Do you think they have swappable part parts like a PC? I do think they, the, do they allow that or no? I think the best well, thing to do is because I I talked no, about no. last week. Uh, no. Remember what I asked? Stupid said, question. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking. We were talking about last week. Remember the computer where you can buy the 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 dongle that lets you plug in the yeah. heart of the graphics cards and stuff. Yeah. I, so I was thinking about that this week. I mean, you don't want people touching the inside of your console because then things get you know yeah. you, you're opening yourself up to a lot of liability, right? Yeah. Like when it's your personal computer. I mean, if you fried a video card, you know. 
GeForce doesn't have to replace the whole computer; they just replace the video card, right? Sure. Whereas Xbox, you know, you get to do true. a lot of that's a good point. You get to do a lot of dirty territory there, right? Yeah. So I don't think they'll let you do anything internally, but I think hot swapping hard drives and stuff is fine. Like PlayStation Four allows you to do it, Xbox allows you to do it via external drives, but. Yeah. The slim when it allowed you to do it. I think hard drives would be cool if you have something external that you plug in. I don't know. Big spicy. You're you're no. You're no all the way on that swappable parts. No, that's what makes a console a console. Yeah, it's Is that you simple, it's a pl- it's simple plug, and play. plug and play. Yeah, mm-hmm. I don't think. Yeah, I agree with I you. I think you I, get rid of that. You get rid of one of the great things about a console. Simplicity. Mm-hmm. No having to no update tinkering. drivers. Nothing. Yeah, uh, I agree with that. Although I gotta say, I do love doing that on my PC, but that's what my PC is for. Yeah, I, w- I would not want to do. Th- I mean, I had server issues for my business earlier today, and oh. it's super stressful. But yeah. it's kind of fun at the same time to be like, okay, <laughs> figure this the out. Problem okay. solving aspect. Yeah, it's only fun if you're successful in fixing it. <laughs> yeah, which uh, that's part of PC gaming. It's like kind of the, I like it. I like to optimize it. I like to figure it out. But when I want to just play a game, that's kind of the benefit of a console. Just relax. Two chords. Play. Yes. So, yeah. Yeah. Two yeah. chords and two double A's. Two chords. <laughs> just like that. <laughs> that's, that's, you just, <laughs> so, last question. <laughs> Mr. Spicy, you think it's too early for You're think so it's too early for a next generation console or are we ready for it? Too early? Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, because we had the X, uh, the Scorpio. This what was, was that? estimated 2020. October? 2020, I think, is by, by all the estimations when we'll see this. That was October 2017, right? Or when it's released. Yeah. So, two and a half years? Yeah. No, why not? Yeah, and it's not like so. This is where when, when people talk about next it. generation, you, you got to remember it's not that you're not going to be able to play your games. It's not like old generations. It's it's like the iPhone generations or the phone yeah. generations. Yeah. You know, we're kind of a unique. Well, not unique. actually. They're really following the phone model. This is history. I mean, because well, this is the first time that it will change over, and it's wow. it's an upgrade. Yeah. See, now I have to buy it. <laughs> but see, we're power users, right? Yeah. We'll we'll buy whatever comes out. Yeah. Because that's our. I mean, I don't. I don't do other things in my life, you know. Yeah. This is my vacation. Is I like to play video games, right? So, yeah. so that's why I'm going to spend. I'm not going to spend it on golfing. One game, the rest of your life, you had to play. What game would you pick? I mean, you've asked me this a couple times over the course of the podcast. Um, something that has a lot of replayability. So, probably MMO style, but I'm not. It's got to be a better MMO than what I, what's out there right now. <laughs> You think For Skyrim me. with the mods? Skyrim's a good choice. Skyrim, if you if you have consistent mods, <laughs> if you have access to the mod, do you want to know the coolest? Wait, so will I have access to mods? To mods, which means I'll have access to the internet, which means I have games for days. <laughs> Loophole, uh, plot dang twist. It. You dang can't, it! You can't. You can't mess with. False question. Can't mess with this. False question. No, yeah, I would say I would say a Skyrim style game, or see see if you have like Fallout and stuff, which is. Skyrim esque perpetual multiplayer. Perpetual, oh, like Fallout seventy six. Yeah, yeah, that'd be fine. It's just MMOs aren't uh, MMOs are Jordan's thing. I yeah. I would like a Skyrim or a Witcher. What turns you off about an MMO? What's what's your biggest thing that if they t- tweaked you could get behind? Everything I do doesn't matter. That like what, it doesn't change the world. Yeah. So you're just wor- you don't like just building up your character. I mean, I like you the, I mean, I like doing world. that in other games. Sure. But what I have a hard time is I kill a mob, and then I turn around 22 minutes later, and they come out again. Yeah. And I, it's like, oh, okay, okay. Sure. That's a hard thing to... Especially in a massive multi where there are multiple... Yeah, it makes it hard It makes it hard to immerse myself into that. And so, yeah. eh, whatever. I, I know, I, I understand the thrill. I mean, I played Guild Wars 1 probably over 1,000 hours. Yeah, and then you were pretty... Good into Guild Wars 2 as well. I did enjoy... I mean, so I, I, I like it, right? It just has to be a specific well, uh, but feel to it. Yeah, and I, I really like... Uh, what's that one coming out? Black Desert Online. Black Desert Online. So I, really I reinstalled that this week on my PC. You did? Yeah, this, I've got a way ballsier PC now, so I'm really excited to see my character. Oh, yeah. They <laughs> really they know how to make him look pretty. They <laughs> also now have guides like built into oh! their website on what to do from levels 1 to 10. Basically, you're not supposed to worry about the the building or economy until like level 40 and that's when you're able to start we but were see, doing it like right off the bat no but that's what i liked i liked not having to kill mobs i liked afk fishing and yep. i liked walking back and forth Dude, on the road afk fishing is because because i so fun i can i can under i can see myself fishing all day yeah so i could immerse myself into that and then i really yeah i like to travel routes i like the things in that game that were not mob related 
Yeah. So Jordan, what do you like about MMO? Like what MMOs? What's the big draw for you? That I'm saving a world. Very cool. So yeah. you do dive like into I've like saved the story. Azeroth many times. Uh, <laughs> You're a hero. At least six. You're a hero. Yeah. Six times that many? Well, you saved it six original times? Original. No, King. vanilla. I believe the term is vanilla. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Rank Noob. Lich King. He's Cataclysm. counting on his fingers, everyone. Pandaria. Legion? Yeah, six. Wow. Six times. Six times. Am I no, missing uh, You're one? holding seven fingers. No. Six. Oh, no. the thumb doesn't count. No, no, the thumb no. isn't a finger. Yeah, vanilla, Burning Crusade, Lich King, Cataclysm, Mop. So basically, feeling Draenor, yeah, I've saved it at least six. <laughs> at least so six. feeling like you're a badass is yeah. what is the hook. Yeah. Well, know. and actually, but so I've been playing Final Fantasy Online this week. Yeah. <laughs> what I love about those guys, you gotta love the Japanese people, man. So you actually cannot access the expansions until you complete the story. I hear that's a legit good story, though. No, yeah, yeah. And what's awesome is it as I love. It, I feel like the attitude is like, if you don't want to play our story, don't play our expansions. <laughs> like, and I, I love that idea. Like, fine. Don't play it. You don't expansion. like it? Don't yeah. play it. Yeah, I love that. We're not going to apologize for who we are. <laughs> yeah. See? That's how you deal with stuff. <laughs> yeah, I like that. It's awesome. I like that. I mean, they, they didn't that's say that. That's the reason, refreshing. But the reason, the reason they do that is so you understand, like, oh, this is the main story. This is why the next event is happening. This is why the following it's, event is happening. It's not just refreshing. Know? It's effective. It's fe- I mean, that's the Apple. To just of, say, eh, that, screw you. I mean, that's the Apple approach. Eh, yeah. we don't care. You don't like our phone? Uh, it's overpriced. The thousand dollar phone. Go buy another one. <laughs> yeah, and you'll look stupid because ours has weird ear dangle things, <laughs> ear dongles. So already, I was against the the AirPods. Yeah, completely against them. I thought that's stupid. I can get a, and they're super expensive, and I can get a Bluetooth. I already have Bluetooth said the headset said that I use at the gym all the time. I have actually uh, this guy I work with has them. They are actually legitimately so, pretty cool technology. I'm going to offend a lot of people. Sure. Everyone I have ever seen have those in their ears. Sure. I've thought, <laughs> uh, you know, what? what well, it stupid. is true. Well, it is true. Because they look so stupid. Is, there is a look to it. And all, but and, see, I'm and here's what kills it. Sometimes some, I granted, keep in mind, I'm at a small private college. Yeah, keep in mind, I don't go out of my house, and I thought capris were stupid for like five years. Hipsters, <laughs> hipsters abound there, and it's it's really annoying, morally superior hipsters that usually have those in their ears. So it kind of has a a taint to it, but it's legit cool technology. Like they charge fully charged in like fifteen minutes. You put them in, you put it in the case. The case is you. That's how you charge it by putting it in the case, and then the case also is a battery. Each one is individual. It oh, it's it's really cool, really cool technology. Yeah, I wish it didn't look stupid. It'll prove that. My my problem is is I don't want to get one because I I mostly wear Bluetooth running or at the gym. Like that's the only time I'm wearing headphones, like Bluetooth headphones. Yeah. Uh, without like a hook over the top, I had I had Bluetooth headphones without a hook, and they fall out. I need I need a hook, and I know you can mm-hmm. get like adapters for it, but give me my hook. The hook brings you back. The hook. Do you remember that movie Hook? Oh yeah, I love that so movie. Good. Peter. Is he the best Peter Pan? Rob uh, Robin Williams. Yes. I think so yeah. Yeah, Wait, yeah, how many Peter Pans have there been? And I'm talking few. movies. Quite like a few. Eight. Not like like there's the a, theater. There's a girl that did, well, the theater movie. Yeah, that doesn't. That's what I'm saying. That doesn't count. <laughs> oh, okay. There's one with Hugh Jackman called Pan. Pan. Pan's Labyrinth. Pan's Labyrinth <laughs> is not Peter Pan. <laughs> well, maybe it's an origin story. It's an origin story of where Peter <laughs> how Pan came. How Neverland was created. <laughs> Pan's Labyrinth's freaky. <laughs> how Neverland was created. No, uh, I mean Robin Williams. He was a really good hook. They I mean, baseball, Peter man. Pan. Yeah. What was it? Well, name another movie. Peter, you still fit in those tights. Hello, Peter. The Boo Box. <laughs> Henry. Run Henry. home, Jack. Run home, home Jack. Home run, Jack. Yeah, that's a great show. Dude, Rufio, I, love in that, I love in that movie when the guy steals first and they shoot him. <laughs> that's baseball, man. <laughs> yeah. Hey, he's stealing first. That's how baseball was meant to be. Yeah, yeah. Baseball, baseball in a different time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, I don't know any other Peter Pan movies. Hmm. Rufy, oh. yeah, I mean the cartoon. Well, well that, and like the nine an, sequels. And, oh, the yeah. Lost Boys. Okay. Is there like the Lost Boys? That's okay, just about the. Lost I would Boys? argue the cartoon Peter Pan was the better Peter Pan. Then no, wasn't there really? a Lost? There no, was no. Like, how did how can you say a cartoon character? Isn't well, there a, a Lost? Movie? Isn't there a Lost Boys? Like a there's, there's like a, a song, ton of Lost Boys stuff that just focuses on the Lost. The Boys. Lost Boys sound like a boy band. <laughs> we should make a band, band called the Lost Boys. Yeah, yeah. I'm all about that. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Do, all we have to do is what? What do they call it? Where you you even out use a computer to auto tune? Your, yeah, auto tune. Auto tune. They all do it. No, what we need okay. is to make a music video with a lot of girls screaming and yelling at us, 
and being like super like any flabbergasted. Street I mean, with green any, any. I mean, I the mean, Beatles with, did it. They Beatles started it. I mean, with green screens, we could do that easily. No, yeah, that's all we need, and then we're, we're huge. It's all it takes. Let's do it. We okay. can walk across the street. It's a song like the song can suck. Also, I just want a fan with a white, open button-up shirt with, uh, like a wife beater underneath. Okay. okay. And it's blowing while I'm. We can walk across the street. Okay. Like the so Beatles you're gonna did. be you're gonna be the gangster looking tough guy. No, I don't want to be the tough guy. I want to be the heartthrob. The heartthrob? Yeah, yeah. Well, that's not the heartthrob. Who's the heartthrob? The heartthrob is my wife. We should get her in here. She would tell me. She knows all these things. The, the shirt button. The, the heartthrob usually like the, bleaches his hair, doesn't he? No, the heartthrob looks very nice, and he looks nice, well dressed. The boy next door. Yeah, I could I could pull off the boy next door. Do you know what I, I would dress up as? Well. So he's you can tan. you can look like garbage if you want. Okay. You know. I w- I'm totally. Have you ever seen Brandon Flowers from The Killers? Oh yeah, he's cool. He's he, cool. like his outfits. He's legit. He usually vests, very nice shoes, nice he, nice tie. Yes. Yeah, he's he well has dressed. That classic look. Yeah, he's that's that that's who I'm going to be. I'm going to be the class. I'm going to be the gentleman. You boy will band. appeal. You will appeal to the older ladies. You'll be the cougar no. bait. <laughs> that will be your job in our band. Well, I do our that already, band. anyways. Yeah, Jordan will be like the nice interview. Like he'll be the. He he won't do. <laughs> I, I I don't mean to offend you, Jordan, but uh, you would be so bored at interviews. You would not. You would be like, eh, I don't want to be here, and you'd just leave. Yeah, just get up and like halfway through. We, oh, okay. we sing songs. <laughs> I can be like. Yeah. Uh, so tell me about writing the song. We wrote it. Actually, we didn't write it. Uh, that one dude wrote it. <laughs> Max, Martin. Max, Martin. Martin. Max Martin. Max Martin. Max Martin wrote, wrote song. it. Love it. We co-wrote it with him. We co-wrote it, so now we can we're considered writers. <laughs> Didn't do a thing. By co-writing it, I would just like it's probably like I want to talk about basketball, and then he writes a song for you, and you co-wrote it. Yeah. Uh, Boom. Boom. Done. Basketball. That's what Taylor Swift does. <laughs> Boom. I love, I love it. <laughs> Boom. All right. So what were we talking about? I don't know, but... Boy band sounds like a good idea. Boy band does sound like a good idea. A boy band... Okay, picture this. Okay. A boy band anime. And the only thing we... Only songs that we sing about are video games. Do you know how cool a boy band anime? This'll... That'll knock two things off my bucket list. I mean, they have Being high school... Being in a boy band. They have high school <laughs> animes and wizard animes. Wait, high... And yeah. Doctor nurse animes. Like, they, a lot. they have everything. I mean, do they have a boy band anime? So what was that? Probably. Was it uh, Daft Punk's Discovery? I think that whole album was an anime, and it's about oh, a yeah. rock. Yeah, yeah, that, they, they but, made it for the album, right? Yeah, yeah. So that would be, but there wasn't a boy band. That was just a rock band. Mm. But we could, we could, we could kind of fudge the numbers fudge a little it. bit. Yeah, whatever. Can I be like Daft Slash in our band? Slash, like just yeah, always <laughs> out. You know what I mean? And we're the top. But at. like, yeah, but like everybody's like that guy's cool, <laughs> but he like never does anything. Yeah, you could be, you could be the <laughs> Slash. Yeah. So you're just, the slash. Like I'm the Brandon Flowers, and you're the and this the is what hipster. We, do. we just make a bunch of songs that's like like Taylor Swift featuring the X One Bros. <laughs> but the only thing we do is go like oh in the background, yeah. like every once in a yeah. while. But it's it's featuring us. Yeah. Of course, yeah. we're auto tuned. Okay, it's done. We're gonna make auto-tuned. millions. Millions done. There we go. True achievements, guys. They're back. The true achievements leaderboards are back. We have figured out a way how to improve them, make them better, make sure, Good making job. sure that it is uh, representative, truly representative of the X One Bros community. We put the interns on it. We put the interns on it. They've been working hard. We got it figured out. So the true achievements leaderboard is back every week we will we will go over and review the top five it resets every seven days so make sure what uh, is the seventh day if you don't mind me asking uh so i think it's a continuously seven day roll oh okay okay. yeah so yeah okay yeah you You answered my question (laughs) actually there you go (laughs) So, anyways, come on. TrueAchievements.com. Uh, search for X1 Bros on the leaderboards. Don't click my name. Click the uh, leaderboards. Join it and compare yourselves to everybody else in the community. Top five for this week are coming in at number one, the one and only Rocker Dude. Number two is Functional right. functional Mute. Ooh. Hey, can we get some celebration music here? Let's get something. Oh. Uh, Cyberpunk. Like some happy clapping. <laughs> Cyberpunk. That's a pretty hardcore uh, celebration. Uh, what do we? What? What's the mo? What? What are uh, you doing? Let's do cheering. I was not some paying sort of, attention. Some I, sort of, we're, we're I doing, gotta tell you, I daydream a lot. Yeah, we're doing the true achievements leaderboard. Okay. Okay. So. So you want some music or top some? Top five. We're announcing the top five. Top five. Uh, do you have a guy that says top five? Drum roll. Or top five. Well, I could do like. <laughs> oh nice. yeah, I like that. There we go. And your top five. <laughs> on this week on Sports Center, <laughs> or tonight on Sports Center, top five. Rocker dude, number one. That's the Monday Night Football theme song. Yeah, that's exactly right. I'm sure we're going to get sued. Rocker dude, number one. (laughs) Functional Mute, number two. 
BPS 21, number three. Sis restart, number four. And last but not least, it's Tears of a Clown at Ooh, number five. Tears of a Clown. Congratulations. Okay. Now let me uh, turn this on to get some crowd clapping. There you go. Congratulations to our True Achievements leaderboards. Go and join the True Achievement X1 Bros leaderboards and uh, see how you fare against the rest of the community every each and every week. And with that... Oh. Let's get this show on the road. Jordan, tell me, what's happening in the world that is Xbox um, One this week? It's a little bit, it's the middle of summer. Everyone's on vacation, including developers and everybody else. So it's a little bit of slow of a news week. And Jordan can't seem to get to the correct web page here with no, all the I, news. No, I'm but, here. I'm with you. I oh, know what here the we first go. story is. Okay, go. Boom. He's yeah. got it memorized. Yeah. Oh, memorization. Yeah, get tactical. Oh, so new uh, <laughs> get tactical. That's the that's the new uh, controller. Get, oh, tactical get tactical with the Xbox wireless controllers. <laughs> oh, like, Armed Forces Two Special just, Edition. You're just like you're like get tactical. That's that story. The next story. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, I actually really like the Armed Forces uh, controllers. Yeah, it's, uh, camouflage. Because they're cool looking. Yeah, it's like the modern camouflage green, like the digital camouflage. Yeah, yeah, very know? cool looking. I actually gotta get me one of these. So they're they're really. I gotta I gotta upgrade my controller. Mick Spicy, library. what's your favorite? Controller that Xbox has come out with favorite controller design that they've come out with the design yeah well because they have design labs so you know but official like release I think like the this, Forza like, yeah see, the Forza blue, six that blue Forza yeah, sweet the, was it Forza six I think the Forza blue one six, yeah. yeah that was really that good was really nice. yeah. you, I think that one you purchased the Master Chief one or the Halo the Halo one yeah because it came free with my Elite controller oh, my there you go I got that one because I needed to get the Elite controller in order to get the Elite controller I had to buy the Elite Xbox. Yeah. It was a whole thing. And then they're like... The Sea of Thieves controller is pretty just like, sweet. Uh, yeah, you want another controller? That's basically what you they did. It, 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 uh, it is actually pretty cool. The Sea of Thieves controller and the, yeah, I really, but Can I you buy it still? Because I'd love to buy that one. Yeah, I think you can still buy it. Buying it. The sex, the ultimate sex <laughs> appeal, though? <laughs> I don't think they're. I don't think that's the officially. Ex, I don't think that's controller? officially licensed by Xbox. The sex controller. Yeah, I think that's an Amazon yeah. exclusive. No, the sex. That, the ultimate sex appeal. That's a mod I, for me. Is the, is the blue that blue race <laughs> requires special batteries. That blue race stripe for the six controller is so. Yeah, sick. Yeah, that one is. It's just the color that blue. Also, Duke with the light up. And the Duke blah, 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 blah. is cool. The Duke so is cool. cool. Anyway, yeah, the new controller, uh, Armed Forces True, Armed Forces Two Special Edition controller. Be sure to pick it up. It's pretty cool. Backwards compatibility. Yeah. Is just in case issues. you were wondering. Well, it, they just had server maintenance. There you so. go. So not issues. Usually when they maintenance things, it's to improve things. So, it's like uh, when yeah. the janitor closes down the bathroom. They're just working on it. And you're like, or oh, cleaning, I'm cleaning, cleaning it. stuff and like, up. I really got to go. Like, Hey, cleaning. have you guys seen the story about the janitor that cleans off the gum in the girl's bathroom? No. Seen the story? You what? mean like a show or a movie? No, it was like what a What does seen can, the story mean? Can I tell mean? you about it? It'll take me 30 seconds. Have you seen the story? Take me a minute. Can I tell you about it? Seen it? Yeah. No, no. Well, I would like to listen to the story. No, no, it's a good story. Yeah, it it'd take me about a minute. So hey, this janitor, uh, uh, nice guy. Nice guy. Really nice, like guy. nice guy. You, you really get to know him during this video. Janitor. Must yeah. Oh, it's a video. Well, it's a it's new, like a new story, story within a video. Okay. Okay. Whoa. It's a story Whoa. presented You're via inceptioning my mind. Video. <laughs> so the girls would always uh, put lipstick on their lips and kiss the mirror so it had the lip stuff. And okay, they do sure. it like every day, which first of all, why? Anyway, but they do it every day, right? No. So the janitor, at the end of the day, like always had to mark. close off the girl's bathroom. It's the same as peeing on the wall. Yeah. Just with lipstick. Yeah, at least pee's funny. <laughs> no, pee stinks. <laughs> it's like missing the urinal on purpose. But instead, they're kissing the mirror. Yeah. Right? So anyway. <laughs> so anyway. What are we talking about? So anyway, they do it every day, and he has to go in, and he's like, ah, oh, the shift is over, but no, i got to clean the mirror. So he cleans them all, and, he, and finally he got fed up with it after like two weeks. And he goes to the principal, and he says, hey. I have this idea. We know which girls are doing it. Let's let's t you know let's teach them a lesson. So what he does is the principal calls he pees the girls. On the wall? No, yeah, right in front of everybody. <laughs> I'm gonna show you guys. <laughs> so he's trying this. to sell it to the principal. So he goes. <laughs> so go with me on he this. Goes, he goes. They they know which girls it is, so they bring them all in, and the principal's there, of course, and she's a you know female principal, so there's nothing weird going on. Just sure. in case everybody was wondering. No. <laughs> anyway, so he goes in, and the janitor, and she goes, "Hey, the janitor would like to you know his name, would like to tell you something." And he goes, "Hey guys, just so you know, um, you guys are always you know kissing this mirror," and he basically goes into this like heart felt story of like I'm always late for dinner and my family misses me and Aww. I love to spend time. You know, it's this whole thing, and he goes, and the girls are just like rolling their eyes like yeah, yeah, whatever. Let's see if I'm gonna kiss it again tomorrow. And he goes, he goes, but I just wanted you to know that this is how I clean it every night before I leave. Because it's, he, it's he, like, and he pees on the wall. <laughs> you know, yeah. he picks up the uh, you know the car wash thingy that you see at the gas station, 
and he goes over to the toilet and he swaddles it in there and he goes over to the mirror and slaps it on there and, <laughs> and their faces just like dropped and they never had an issue with that ever again oh, so that's, that's a good way yeah, so just so you know <laughs> you that's... can keep doing it but here's how I've been <laughs> yeah. cleaning it <laughs> yeah, exactly. that's pretty funny yeah, anyway back to the news there was server maintenance on the uh, Xbox 360 so it went down this week but yep. it's back up everybody's happy boom be happy Xbox is going to Gamescom woo Yay! Announcements Wait, are coming. Knew that was coming. There was some confusion on the announcements. Some hardware at first was expected to be announced. I thought the Elite well, Controller too. I think it might be technically. A, I think it might be a double juke. Like they faked us out once, like, oh, wait, a mistake. And you're like, oh, and then they lull you into a sense of security and then BAM! Fool me once. Elite controller too. Well, technically, I mean, they're not wrong because it says accessories. So instead of hardware, they're saying accessories. Well, no, no. So I think the original post was like hardware and other stuff, and then the corrected post was basically just that it was mislabeled. It was supposed to be bundles and accessories, accessories. right? But uh, controller, but still uh, an accessory. hardware bundles like Xbox bundles still. It's all hardware. They're not wrong. They're not lying. Yeah. Not like true. some people on Twitter think they are and had you know sit at their computer screenshotting everything all day. <laughs> No, but anyway, true. it's exciting. You know. Regardless, Gamescom, there's going to be some announcements at Gamescom, even some sweet new bundles. So look forward to that. Gamescom coming up shortly in August. Yes, very cool. Middle Earth Shadow of War. This is a good one. Mm. Demo for Middle of Earth Shadow of War is now available on Xbox. I, I got really excited when I saw this, mostly because I've already played the game. But yeah. those of you who haven't played the game, the check, demo is now available for it free. Out, yeah. Also, some Fortnite news. Yet again, they're always doing something. They updated the SMG. So... Mark probably knows because I think he probably played Fortnite this week. Yeah. So they took out, they vaulted, essentially. They took out the old SMG. It's in the vault. They're they're doing stuff with it. Maybe we'll see it later. Maybe we won't. Who knows? They put out a new SMG. And uh, the model for it's actually pretty cool. Yeah. Have you gotten to use it yet? I think so, but I can't remember. How do you like it? You don't remember. I don't okay. remember. This whole week, I, I kind of played a very unique style of gameplay. Oh yeah, I remember that. I re you're showing yeah. me the picture yeah, on the right computer. Yeah. I remember that gun. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. So it's not silenced anymore no, like yeah. the old SMG was. Um I believe it comes in like rare I swear there's a purple. Yeah, I think there's a purple. I don't know if there's an epic. I mean, I can read through it, but why? Yeah. You know. <laughs> Um, but yeah, no, very very cool. So the, if, I mean, Fortnite's always doing something. Also in the Save the World mode, they did add a mid range assault weapon with high capacity magazine and li and a literal kick. Ah, you see what they did there? Literal kick. Anyway, so they're still updating I the Save the World mode. They did there. What is that? A literal <laughs> kick because it's like guns kick, but this is oh, a literal kick. So it's okay. kind of a fun yeah, gun. That's funny. I got gotcha. you. Okay. So, and just so that everybody didn't know, season five launched. It's out. It's available. Buy your pass. Do it. They're always yeah. updating the game. Very cool oh, stuff. So. Good stuff. Antonio Next, Brown. Yeah, for man. David. Antonio Brown is the new cover, cover athlete. athlete. He's probably going to break his wrist this He's year. He's super fast. He's a super fast hombre. Yeah, probably going to break the his wrist. Cover athlete leg. for Madden 19. Uh, Terrell Owens is the Hall of Fame special edition cover athlete, which is kind of funny because Terrell Owens completely snubbed the Hall of Fame and didn't show up to get inducted. <laughs> but that's another story <laughs> kind of for ironic. another day. That's for our X1 Bros Sports Podcast. Coming soon. It's coming soon to a theater near you. Um, so, but Antonio Brown, Madden NFL 19 uh, cover athlete. Really, I mean, just typical. Good news. Yeah. That's who the cover do you athlete think, is. Do you think they approach these athletes like, hey, we want to put you on the cover, and they know, they go, no, the curse isn't getting me. No, I don't think so, because I think what's more valuable than your NFL contract is, is money and creating a brand for yourself. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so I think I think okay. I think money trumps well, everything. I think, well, I think okay. I'll get hurt for if it's okay, a lot of money. So I'll, I'll get, get hurt. injured. There's a, there's a Madden curse, and I don't do well this year. Oh well, my brand still improved. I think that. Oh well, they just paid me a million bucks to put my face on their cover. No, I don't think they pay you because they get they have licensing rights right from the players' association. So I think they pay, probably pay the players' association. Which then pays the players. Well, they pay them like we're gonna put this bag of money over there, and we're just gonna turn around. <laughs> 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 if it's gone by the time we turn back, we don't know where we it don't went. Know what happened. We don't care. We it's like a little murder it. mystery dinner. <laughs> <laughs> it's not college sports. They don't have to do that. Uh, Which is actually my job in my school. David, sure the, that David's the guy happen. that leaves the bag. I'm the guy that delivers the money. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, <laughs> have you seen that South Park episode with uh, college sports? I'm telling you, you have oh, you would laugh your one. head okay. off. It's pretty funny, and it's with EA actually. EA oh, okay. and their college sports games. I have to watch that one. You'll, I have to. It's it's one of those I can't talk about it during the show because it's very so, it's very particular. So Antonio Brown on the uh, Madden 19 cover, 
Yes. Very awesome. There's a big sale right now. It's the summer sale, summer of goodness, Xbox One. And a part of that, you can get Xbox Game Pass right now for only $10. You just skipped a story. Well, whatever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so two st- yeah, so there's there, there's a summer sale which is Xbox's version of the Steam sale it just started today. Dude, yeah, there's Big a sale lot coming. of good. Big sale coming. A lot of good deals. A lot of good stuff. Wolfenstein's on there, oh. Doom's on there. Wolfenstein oh. and Doom as oh. a combo pack is Ouch. on there. Ouch. Ooh, so good. For a good price. I'm thinking about going back and playing Doom. Mix spicy. Have you played there's Doom? There's the 4K update that came out. I bought it. It's on my queue. Dude, it's It's on my that. to-do to play. I have to get through Wolfenstein. Do you have a to-do p- group? And my head. Yeah, have you created groups? Has anyone created groups yet? Seth no, I have. No, you no, told you me about to. it. See, it's right up your alley. You like stuff like that. Do I? I feel like you it like organizing. Like... You make Excel sheets for your farming simulator. By the way, Stardew Valley. I sh- well, get this. Okay. I showed Jordan this before the show. Sure. I have a Fortnite Excel spreadsheet now. Huh? Yeah, dude. And you want to see what it says? Huh. It's awesome. It says this is how you get the best experience. This is how you get the best. I was looking around for how to, you know. Maximize. Maximize my efficiency with experience points. Yeah. And nothing existed on the internet. So I made my own. Mm. I'll show you after the show. Very cool. I have I'm f- excited now. Yeah. See, I can do Excel spreadsheets. When you start putting things in groups, it kind uh. of feels like goals. <laughs> well, that's why you and label against the goals. I hate goals. You take those goals and you turn them into an Excel sheet formula pivot table. But that's why you're you, there. You name the group not goals. <laughs> yeah, just name it something else. Not yeah. goals. This is not goals. This is just suggestions. You name it. Name it efficient. Suggestion. Name it efficient experience points. <laughs> and put your. Okay. Your, I don't. Yeah, I don't like the sound dailies. of this groupage. <laughs> uh, games I will never play. Anyways, lots of games, games on sale. But right now, sold. Xbox Live. Yeah. Uh, or sorry, Xbox Game, Game Pass, Pass. Three months of it for only ten dollars. Now, can you stack that? I wonder. We should try. So, could I buy? Could you fifty dollars worth and get a lot? Fifty, one hundred and fifteen. Right? No, I, I bet 15. you it's It'd be fifteen. Dude, there's no way they missed that. Be I mean, months. they might have missed that. But do you think they did? Do you think people are doing that and they're like, oh crap? Because if it stacks, because Xbox Live, show up for work Xbox today. Live, Xbox Gold cards stack. So do Game Pass cards stack. This is how you'll know because we have Game Pass. Just buy one and see if it stacks on top of your current Game Pass because then you know it works. Well, I think you I have think, to. Buy, I think you have to buy this digitally. Yeah, I think you're on the edge of uh, doing something really sketchy, and like I don't know Jordan if I was getting free Netflix for yeah, like years. Yeah, I don't know if this is territory where I could follow you in <laughs> since you're the bad guy. And again, in my defense, <laughs> this that's is my Netflix's my, uh, fault. Yeah. My Leroy Jenkins moment. Yeah, this is something that uh, it sounds like. Uh, you know, this is one of those drop the bag and turn around. Are you going to start selling me calling cards? You know, like <laughs> <laughs> calling cards. <laughs> oh, I love calling cards. I miss those. I used to be proud of my calling card. Oh, 50 bucks on this calling card, man. <laughs> I can call home whenever I want. You need uh, to yeah. borrow my calling card? You can borrow my calling card. Yeah, this feels this feels so sketchy. You used to feel like you're taking, like we can take a girl on a date. You used to feel like you're like taking care of her. Like, yeah, man, here's my calling card. I got <laughs> what you. What are you t- Gotcha. You did that. You, 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 need call you need to call your mom to pick you up. Call your mom. Here's yeah, my yeah, calling card. Yeah, just bring uh, it. Like mom. you throw it at throw well, the card you know, under in slow motion, like on Maverick. Sometimes, like especially like because we would go like if you had to go somewhere far, that's like an hour or two drive away or something. Like, cause when you get there, and it was before cell phones. You, the pagers were a thing, but it was before so, cell phones. So I'd be like, hey, babe, use my calling card. <laughs> so <laughs> the calling card yeah. is the equivalent it's like of a, a Facebook card. relationship. It's basically what it is. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, it was the school jacket. You it got. You, I have his calling card. It was the Letterman jacket, <laughs> which for the record, I didn't let anyone wear my Letterman jacket. I don't like that. There was no one worthy. You're not wearing my Letterman. You're not wearing my Letterman jacket. No, I don't think so. Can I wear it, please? No. No, you should have brought your own jacket. Didn't you no. see the temperature? You can't wear my Letterman jacket. Let's make out. <laughs> Basically, how those conversations. So you're work. that guy on Doesn't Seinfeld. Yeah. 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 I'll be back. We'll make out. <laughs> we gotta get that. We gotta get that quote. Yeah, 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 yeah. I need that. Sorry. Okay. Go check out the game. Great sale. deal. That's a, that's yeah, a fantastic uh, deal. Ga- game sale, which is a great deal, and one of the best deals. Three months of Game Pass for only ten dollars. You can't beat that. Game, Call of Game Pass, greatest deal in gaming at the moment. Yes. Hands down. No questions asked. Hundred plus games. Game Pass, ten dollars. Yeah. Call of Duty 4 or Call of Duty Black Ops 4 Zombies shows off a new trailer this week. They show off a couple weapons. That it, I didn't it's see actually this. a really cool trailer. I mean, it's yeah, it's really cool. Do you think Call of Duty... So Call of Duty is still a powerhouse, obviously. Mix spicy. You're an an ex-Call of Duty addict. Yeah, she's my ex. You played it at E3. You got to play it at E3. You guys dinner. Is it, is, it, is it past its time? Like... Because they've not really changed anything. They've just... What they do well, they do well. They're st- staying in their lane, so to speak. Well, I mean, we could think of this like... What's what's a very highly addictive drug? 
Heroin. Heroin. Okay. okay. If you, <laughs> it, I mean, I think a heroin addict is always going to like heroin. Yeah. Don't D- you have to up your dosages though? Like, don't. You? Yeah, and it gets really scary. <laughs> like, yeah. So I had to go to cold turkey. Okay. And I can't go back. But do, but do you? Th- yeah. That's and that's my point. I don't know. At games have evolved. Are, no, are when, they when we played it, enough? When we played, we played it at E3. Yeah. And were you like, my back was sore from carrying you guys. Were, but were you like, this is... It's the exact same game. Yeah, but did does it is it as fun as it was when it was first out? Yeah. For you? For someone that was so hardcore into Well, it. I mean, what made that game fun wasn't necessarily the gameplay. It was the unlocking of the weapons, yeah, the yeah, skins. The, they, were, the, they were kind of the first to really do it that way, too. Yeah, that, that's what was fun it about was that game. Formula. And we didn't have that chance to do that yeah. in the E3 you know, we were only there for like a half hour. Playing, Everybody loves so. zombie mode. That's coming back. That's very fun. Yeah. it's. I think it's going to come down to Battle Royale. Can, how is their Battle Royale? What's it going to be like no, playing no. Call of Duty with Battle Royale? Here's here's what I was trying to get at. Sure. Uh, people that uh, enjoy Call of Duty, that's their game. I mean, it's, I guess, yeah, correct. I guess it's the same as like a, a it's yearly. It's going to be successful a whether yearly, it sucks a or not. sports game. If you like FIFA, you like mm-hmm. FIFA. If you like Madden, you you know, you want a football game, you play a football game. Same with Call of Duty. It's almost its own genre if you think about it that way. Yeah. Well, I, like I said, it's going to be successful whether it sucks or not. It yeah. really is. Dang. Do you think you need a new engine? Well, remember that in, was it Modern Warfare 2? They said... We we ripped apart the engine. And we built it from scratch, and it was the yeah, exact but, same like, thing. They say that, but your base engine is still based off the Quake engine. Yeah, from that nineteen ninety. It was the exact. It felt the exact same. Yeah, the like, guys ran the same way. Think, like they they optimize it. Optimized it. Like, they, they modify but, it and they optimize it. And like whenever you, like game studio says we built it from the ground up on you know we built well. If they use the old engine, they redid it. Like it's like Fallout Four. They should, they still use the creation engine, and yes, they updated it heavily. But you can still tell it's that the, the base engine, is yeah. still there. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like paint. There's always a base. Will there ever not be a Call of Duty? No. Like, do you see it going away anytime soon? The, no. We're, no. 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 Well, I'm, especially if they're going into battle royale. Battle royale is a game changer in the last year. Well, or that's so. what's going to be interesting. Can their engine handle battle royale? And they're gonna they're including vehicles in their battle royale. I mean, I think their engine can handle it. Well, can it handle 100 players? That was the big question. Well, the question is, can their server handle 100 players? <laughs> obviously, they can. Well, they, they they're doing it. it. Yeah. I mean, well, no, 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 no. Pretty they're, sure the game tested it. <laughs> In the office with like five guys. Well, yeah, they oh, tested yeah, it, it on a LAN server. <laughs> <laughs> they had, they had a 50 daisy chain ports <laughs> yeah. lined up. Hey, it's working. <laughs> they had just they were just switches using the Linksys. Yeah. Those <laughs> Linksys four, four port switches <laughs> from like 2001. <laughs> those blue ones. So that's cool. it's going to be interesting. I'm excited to see. Th- it's going to be interesting to see. Here's the question: This evolution into this new genre. Do you think if they drop it below 100 players, it won't do as well? No, I think it works. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Uh, I think sometimes it works better. I think the strength of Darwin Project, yeah. which finally went free to play, uh-huh. was smart by then. They should have launched free to play. To be perfectly honest. Is that it's only 10 players? Like mm-hmm. it. It. It's, but it, the game is. Yeah, it just yeah, works no, that way. I mean, and if you think about it, even Fortnite it goes to smaller maps. PUBG is going to smaller maps with less players. I think, yeah, absolutely, you could do it. It's the game mode of just be less. It's last man standing, but the map moves. Mm-hmm. Like, that's, that's all it is. That, yeah. And you're right. When you're right, you're right. There you go. And thank you, you're always right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> thank you. Dragon Ball Fighter Z. just a movie Z. quote. Don't take it personal. <laughs> Dragon Ball Z. Dragon, or the, la, la. Dragon Ball Fighters. Is what it's called. Dragon Ball Fighters. New DLC characters coming. We got the base forms of Goku and Vegeta. Yeah. Oh, Goku base and Vegeta. Forms. And they're they're not just reskins. They're, they got the the base like it's all it's all different. It's gonna be cool, man. Oh, it's be cool. Goku. They have a trailer that you can watch. It's very cool. Goku sports his original training. I believe it's pronounced guy. Guy. I don't know how to pronounce it. I'd like to go to Japan one day and learn how to pronounce all these. I'm still probably. going through the Dragon Ball. I'm not on Dragon Balls yet. Dragon Ball is a freaking long series yeah and but i'm learning a lot because tiffany's Find like what Why don't we just, let's just let's just go to dragon ball z and i'm like no i want to know the backstory so i gotta i gotta watch this where are you at prequel um i don't know season three there's five seasons 50 episodes each oh yeah but my wife because i was like okay maybe we should just switch and then we watched an episode and my, and my wife's like oh because she watched dragon ball z she loves it she's like oh i never knew that oh my goodness oh. and you like blew her mind and i was like this is why I have to watch it. Like, do you I ever, have to know this. In Dragon Ball, do I you think ever, I know more than you, Jordan. 
Well, I didn't watch Dragon Ball. I watched Dragon Ball Z. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. I think I know more do you, than you do, about you know the backstory. Tail does. Yeah, I know exactly what his tail does. Really? Yeah. Just tell me. Yeah. No, don't no, I'll spoil I, it. Yeah, yeah. I'll tell you afterwards. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'll tell you after, maybe I know what his tail does. Maybe I'll pull your tail. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> anyway, Dragon Ball Fighters DLC. DLC. Check it boom. Out. Done. Overwatch. Oh. Oh. Wrecking Ball is has a release date. He's the little mouse, and I love how they uh, announced it. He was running on his little ball, and then he jumped up and went, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then, it, and then it, it did a freeze frame, and it was seven. I think it was seven twenty four. Yeah, July twenty fourth. Wrecking Ball is coming to the base game. If you want to jump in on the PC and play the PTR, you can play him in the PTR. Uh, let's talk about his abilities real quick. So he's yeah, got super interesting. Yeah, it's gonna be a fun. He's a physics based character. You know, like he swings around. Well, he's a really smart hamster. Well, no, I mean, like it's like a physics. Like it's yeah, yeah. he can it, only smart he, hamsters. He, <laughs> you, you know, like he can hook onto things. It's like a physics-based engine player. Yeah, interesting. And swing around, and he can gain momentum. And yeah. keeps. It's like yeah. oh. it's gonna be. Let's, people are gonna go crazy. Let's start with, with this. that ability. He can go into a ball form mm -hmm. and shoot a grappling hook, and you, like Mark said, physically swing around. And if you are on like a bridge or something, you can swing around the bridge and gain momentum and slam down on people. You can knock people back. He has an ability where, is it where you jump up in the air and he uh, shoots out a bunch of mines that fall? Um. Yes. Uh, is that, what's his ultimate? Remind me of his ultimate again. Do we I thought, well, is his ultimate like a ground pound? I can't remember. I only saw him once on the PTA. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, he's in like a he's in a diva style mech where he just has the two guns on the side that shoot. The f it's, yeah, he's a yeah. cool character, very cool. Character. I'm, I'm excited. the 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 coolest ability and the most interesting one to see what players, especially pros, will do with it is the grappling hook ball slam mm -hmm. thing. Yeah, I think he's going to be able to traverse the map almost as fast as uh, oh, who's the knuckle shotgunner? Uh, Doomfist. Doomfist. Yeah, I think, and he moves. Which have you ever tried to catch a hamster in real life? They are quick. Yeah. Yeah. Just yeah. so you know. Yeah. They're quick. True. We had a hamster. You had to catch when they're in the ball. Yeah. And that's his main weapon. Yeah. So. It's, <laughs> it's going to be the a reason crazy. you put them that's... in the ball is so that you don't lose them. Yeah. He's never going to get lost. Yeah. Well, very good, very he... good input. Thank you, David. Thank you. I know I don't play Overwatch, so <laughs> that's my input into this discussion. <laughs> oh, very man. cool. Um, Last story last, that I got last that I actually just kind of threw in last minute because I actually thought the trailer was really good. Mm. And I know people are very indifferent about this game. No, you're either going to you're going to like, ah, you know, because the original, you know, coming out and the game we're talking about is uh, No Man's Sky. Boom. Because when it originally came out, it got a lot yeah. of bad press. Yeah. Uh, they've done a lot. Of, I've seen a lot of interviews with the developer. And no, I, there's a correction. No Man's Sky next. No Man's Sky next. Yes. Uh, yeah. So they came out with the trailer showing off the multiplayer. I enjoyed it. And the trailer, first of all, the game looked very pretty. It is, might just be because of the planet they were. Well, on. it is really cool. They you have a really cool color palette. I yeah, think, yeah, very art cool. Style. It's, it's, yeah, it's I'm just, nice. I'm real. I, I will be getting this game. I, I'm yeah. gonna buy this game. Um, I, I just, I want to try it out. I, yeah. I know it took a lot of hits when it first came out, and a lot of people still have a bad taste in their mouth. But I'm, I'm really excited to try it out for the first time. Yeah, I think McSpicy, you kind of you kind of changed my mind a little bit on this. Not not in the respect I've been I was always going to try it out, but I started to think if this is just Elite Dangerous, I Elite Dangerous does it better. But you said it. I think last week you said if it's a less hardcore Elite Dangerous, that could be a good thing. And the more they think about it, that, could be yeah. a good thing. That would that that could be a lot of fun. So if they can if they manage to pull that off, it might be this nice balance. Between, you know, it's not super hardcore where I have to watch five hours of videos before I can play the game. Forza Horizon versus Forza Motorsport. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So that, that might be cool. I hope it's successful. It looks cool. We'll see. It did get a lot of bad press, a lot I'm, of uh, bad reviews when it first came out. So. I'm actually, yeah, because I, I was in, I was, I was in the midst of all the, the I mean, the it hubbub. was the hubbub and it put a huge bad flavor in my mouth, a bad taste. And uh, I didn't. Wait, you you purchased it, or you no, just, you no, were just paying no. attention? I almost did. It looked interesting. I mean, it was hyped. Oh, it was hyped. super hyped, and I almost purchased it, but it got so much heat, so much bad publicity, so much all that left a huge bad bad taste in my mouth. Even on the show, like three months ago, I was like, "Are you serious? This is coming to Xbox? Yeah, I don't care. Don't taint my console." Yeah, exactly. Uh, that said, there's been a lot of people, even in our community, that push back on me a little bit just you know give it a chance they yeah. they had the developer has backed this game a lot um and you know original the game was hyped because it was a really interesting concept 
on uh, you know just billions and billions of planets. You can discover everything, um, or you can discover a lot of stuff. There are things out there that no one's discovered, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, it, Pre- it, every world is procedurally generated. Correct. It seems li- I will definitely be giving it a chance. I'm going to try to go into this with my mind blank. blank. Yeah. I want I, I want to give it a chance because there are a lot of hardcore fans on No Man's Sky. I mean, even our even our YouTube. <laughs> Video because we released our story on YouTube when we talked about it, and yeah. I gave it a hard time. And people, there's a lot of passionate people about No Man's yeah. Sky that say it's a good game. So yeah. I'm gonna try to just go in with an open mind, I guess. Because I, I mean, because it's that comes out this next week, July 24th, I believe. Yeah, that's uh, that it's a few short days. Few away. short days away. It's exciting. Exciting. It's times. actually Tuesday. It is actually Tuesday. Mm. Well, there you go. That brings us to the next portion of our show. Oh. Ooh. I had it right there. Thank goodness. You didn't give me a lot of time. Ooh, that's uh, you're prep. on point though. Yeah. That, was, that was good. That's professional right there. Mailbag. Tr- this tr- is the mailbag portion of our show. This is where we take your questions from the mailbag. In order to submit a question each week, you just need to subscribe to us on Patreon. Three dollars or more gets you access to the mailbag. Support the show and the community by joining our weekly mailbag over at Patreon. Com, patreon.com forward slash positive gaming or x1bros.com and hit the support tab at the top of the page chocolate bear writes in and says with so many games coming out have any have you found any hidden gems single player or multiplayer any console i'm that you know that maybe you don't know about or wasn't hyped before he says i myself found super hot the games with gold uh, game from a few months ago. It has a very good puzzle aspect to the game. It's not always about kill the man next to you. Plus, adding limited ammo surprise you at the wrong time. He says, "Keep up the good work." Let's start with Mister McSpicy. Any hidden, hidden, hidden gems that you've found off the beaten path with all these games coming out? We're getting to that point. Remember on the 360 when you just used to browse the library and there were so many games. Yeah. You'd you'd search and say, "Oh, I've never heard of this game. Let's try it out." Yeah, uh, I have a good one. Yeah. Uh, I played this this week. I probably would have never played it if it wasn't on Game Pass. Yeah. But uh, Warhammer Vermintide. That's a great oh. example. I, great example. Type I, dirty to me. Okay, yeah. Well, you get these weapons, all right? <laughs> and yeah, you kill. You dismember oh. rats, you know. And, and the, the bosses. Is it the chosen? You know what's probably a better description of that? What? It's Dynasty Warriors combined with... Diablo and Left 4 Dead. Like, okay, yeah, yeah. Dynasty War- it's basically Dynasty Warriors. Yeah. When Dynasty Warriors was good. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be honest. I played the re- most recent. Well, I don't know which one it was. It's I, like nine. I think yeah. nine. <laughs> they tried to open world it. And it's it terrible. Was, it was pretty it bad. It's super confusing. It was really like bad. Like it used to be the point of the game is just to kill as many people as yeah. you can on the battlefield. And it was so satisfying. And that's basically what Warhammer Vermintide does for you. Yeah. Oh, I I probably would have never played this game, but now that it's on Game Pass, I grabbed it, and it's instant favorite. It's instant, good. Yeah, it's very fun, and it's co-op. It reminds me, like and it does co-op well. It does it, it correctly. It, it does it very well. I I had a uh, I had a fetish with Hexen. Did you oh. ever play Hexen? And who didn't have a fetish with that? <laughs> uh, I rem- I remember the cover of it. But Hexen I never played it. No, and no one would play that game with me. I had to play that because that was up to three players. Okay. And uh, this kind of gives me that vibe a little bit. Hexen was on what? The 360? I think it, no, it was on like the Nintendo 64. Okay. It was okay. old. Yeah, I think it was Nintendo 64. Correct me, Jordan. Is it Nintendo 64? I'm just, I just want to take a peek at the game cover. Hexen for Nintendo 64 because I, I just want to see. I love I that game. It's. I mean, Hexen was more of a Doom style, like Wolfenstein style game because of the time it came out. But uh, it's... I do remember that, actually. Yeah, it's Nintendo yeah. 64. Right. Yeah. I love that game. And uh, I never had friends to play with it. Uh, that's a shame. <laughs> and it's a three-player co-op. It was. And this game, uh, the co-op aspect of this is so good. Yeah. Uh, you And you need co-op or... you. you <laughs> I don't think you could ever so well. You probably well, you, you can get to use certain the level. bots, but the bots yeah. are terrible. You don't want to play no, with bots. The bots are amazing. Really, my bots always die, and I'm always going to go did back you have? and release them. <coughs> Usually, like one. Okay, maybe you were on the harder levels because I played with three people from the community and one empty slot, 
And that person won. Like <laughs> yeah. I was mad well, at first. I, I was like, Dang I like it, we have a bot. But then she's healing all our teammates. Yeah, see, and that's where I think the bots might be. I think uh, Ronan and I were talking about it, but the, he he was the bots might be a little broken because they're just like you're like, oh, you found another potion. All right, like they're they're always oh, giving me crap. Yeah, they're. Uh, and they, like, demolished all the stats at the end of the game. So, see, my bots that I had, I was always rescuing them. Were you taking all their health? <laughs> Perhaps I was. Yeah. Maybe was. it was you. I mean, Maybe selfish. it was user error. when I play that game. <laughs> like, if you, there's a health potion there and I'm full health, but I have an empty slot... You're taking I'm not saving that. He it's drinks mine. It. Yeah, I'm he not playing with you. Have it. And then when the person... Yeah, when you come up to grab it, I grab it, and then I drink it in front of you, even though he's got full health. <laughs> you just stare. Hey, look at me in the eyes. Go, 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 go. Full health to full health. <laughs> Boom, like that. Yeah, yeah Warhammer, that's a great example. Great example. Jordan, any gems that you found off the beaten path? Well, dude, honestly, I was, I, mean, I was thinking of a few, but I, I think Mark's got it right. Warhammer, too. Yeah. The game's amazing. It is really I good. I love the loot aspect of it. Like, I unlocked Iron, uh, what's his name? Iron, Iron Maiden? No, Iron Maiden. <laughs> Iron like Maiden. That would be awesome. <laughs> yeah. It kicks in. The uh, <laughs> What's his name? <laughs> Iron something. Iron, Iron Hide? No, Iron no, Tide. I know what you're talking yeah, about. The, the dwarf. The second dwarf. Yeah. yeah. The, oh, I'm having a blast with the dwarf. He and, had the one with the coolest armor in the yeah. game. Yeah. Iron yeah, Guard one. or whatever. Oh, I don't remember what it's called. But yeah. Anyway, and he has these dual pistols that shoot out flame balls, and it's it's super cool. <laughs> Yeah, they did real. They, they, well, it's just a fun the game. loot, the upgrade. That's that's the drive. I mean, I think what Left 4 Dead was a lot of fun, right? But it, I mean, to me, it did get stale after a while because you're just repeating levels and levels. Yeah. Now I don't remember if there was any type of progression <laughs> with guns. I don't think there was. Iron like, Breaker, Iron Breaker. Ronan yeah. in chat just said. I don't think there was any type of progression with guns in Left 4 Dead. What what keeps this game going for me is they have everything that Left 4 Dead had. They have the the maps, the difficulties, well, right? Yeah. But it's the the progress. Your character has a level. Like I, well, progress, I, want, I want. I'm striving to get to 300 power level. You know yeah. what I mean? Like progress. That, that they have an end game. Left 4 Dead didn't have an end yeah, game. I played yeah. the end game in Left 4 Dead. No, oh. in in Fermentide. How, oh, how is I that? had a tester, a game tester, hop into my stream. Okay. And and he was he was that he was kind of funny. He's completely max level. Like Oh, okay. Did he join you? He joined and oh. played with us. And I was like, Oh, we're just doing recruit, man. I'm a level three. You know, he's like, I'll just tank, right? You know, kinda of. I'll carry. I was like, Do you have another character? He's like, Nah, I was a tester for this game. All my stuff's maxed. And I was like, Oh, okay. While I was playing, he said, Do you want to play the end game? I can take you there. Sure. Uh, Did he pull up like the console command or something? No, so he has access to it, and if we join, we level up with him. Oh, very cool. Wait, what's the So end how game? was it? How was endgame? Oh, we died in like 30 seconds. What wow. is the endgame? It's the same thing, oh, but just but harder. But just super, super hard. Super hard. Yeah. It's yeah. dungeons. Right? And, it's and raids. Like, there was it's like, so cool. There was several big armored dudes. There was a boss that came out right at the beginning. So, and normally, sometimes it's like one or two bosses a map. This was like three at the beginning. Right at the beginning. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> that's so cool. Yeah. That's so, where. That's where. At that point, what's gonna we matter? We died. What's gonna matter at that point? Oh, I think we had Freaky in it. If I, if Freaky okay. RO, which he was a level one, <laughs> so he was brand new. He's like, why do you like this game? I think it was Freaky. I, I don't. don't I, I, I don't know why you guys like this game. I could be wrong, but yeah, he's. <laughs> so I was like, okay, we're all new. We're going into the end game. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why you guys like this game. I just die. This is not fun. <laughs> he really likes it's like when you joined it. us in ESO. Like it's that feeling, you know. Oh man. Uh, or but when yeah, I join you guys in Overwatch, that's how I would feel. It's uh, it's definitely something to strive for, and uh, you get the the goal is to get the like. He showed me some of the weapons he had. Are they cool? Yeah, huge swords, <laughs> like cloud style swords with yeah. glowing shards oh. all over. Them. Wait, yeah. really? Wow, I'm into this. That yeah. that does it for Jordan. You, yeah. you mentioned cloud. <laughs> Cloud it sword. wasn't as big as Cloud's, <laughs> yeah. but Nothing, no one's is. No one's is as big as Cloud's. <laughs> <laughs> he has the biggest. It was a really cool sword. It was one of those swords. So it was, it was like a, a Braveheart sword where at the top it pointed into like a star or something oh, you yeah, know, yeah. like that. Yeah, That's it's cool. It's a huge sword and it was glowing. <laughs> it was glowing. It was like a lightning sword. It was glowing with fearsome power. Yeah, it was cool. That's so, cool. So it's about the, the end game is a trying to get that gear. Yeah. My... Uh, 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 Treasure that I found, Thumper. I told I, like it's the squirrel. So it's such a cool game. It's basically a mobile game on the oh. Xbox. I got it for like two dollars, I think, on one of the sales or something. And my goal was like, I'm just gonna buy everything that's under five dollars. And so I bought it. It's really good. It's got really. Good, I mean, everybody raves about it. It's re it, all you are is you're like this little beetle on a rail system, 
and like remember like Geometry Wars mm-hmm. or any of those games where like in the arcade and like stuff's coming at you and every time you do stuff you have to like hit the button at the right time as you go on this rail and like when you go right you have to hit B or you know yeah. if you you have to play the game and every time you do it you hit the boss guy which is back there this crazy artistic geometry looking thing but every time you do it it's like to music it's to this like electronic ah. music it's really cool really good game it's it's one of those games that you just sit down you play for 10 minutes you get off and you're happy that you did you know what i mean like yeah. that's yeah i mean you're happy you played it it's, i played it's, it with you it yeah fun. it's really fun that's a treasure the beats are good it's probably on sale right now it's super 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 cheap but super fun i think a very underrated simplistically fun game when you said thumper i thought of the rabbit the rabbit thumper. Thumper. yeah yeah you know what my favorite rabbit is the rabbit from poo who? Yeah, he's like the old. Or yeah. is it a she or a he? I do you know? Do you know who my favorite rabbit is? Huh. Jessica. Jessica Rabbit. Yeah. Jessica Rabbit. Oh. Yeah, she's smoking, man. I don't know this. Do I know this person? Yeah, it's a movie in the eighties. Who framed know. Roger Rabbit? Oh. Hey, but yeah, oh, oh, yeah, I do know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's she's, one curvaceous cartoon. She's right? the best one. Oh yeah. <laughs> Also, if, the, if, if it was an MMO, that's the character I would choose. <laughs> <laughs> Great question. Thank you very Although much. Although the hitbox hit might be rather large. <laughs> Thank you very much, Chocolate Bear, for writing in. Great question. Gamer Dad writes in and says, long time listener, first time writer. <laughs> I like that. Long time listener, first time writer. I love the podcast, guys. I've been playing No Man's Sky on the PS4 since launch and have really enjoyed what the game was and is and really excited for the Xbox crowd to get a chance to enjoy the game. One of my favorite things to do is to throw on my Spotify and play music in the background while I roam around mining, exploring, etc. My question is, will you guys be doing the same thing? Or will you listen to the game's soundtrack? Love you guys. Love what you stand for. Especially love Mark on the energy stuff. We should do a secret episode where he gets another glass and we just interview him while he's basically high. <laughs> I still remember that. Not because uh, of the show, but because of that I night. just remember your story yeah, of Gormagon. like you saw like a hand coming the, towards you or something. Or Demogorgon? Or Demogorgon? Demogorgon? Demogorgon. <laughs> the Demogorgon? Yeah, that. I'm still like even thinking about that. My that was heart Jordan. Rate. Jordan spiked you. He spiked your Gosh, drink. That, that was, was the Jordan's scariest blood. night of my life. <laughs> Jordan's though. Anyways, I, I thought we'd go to make spicy because I know you will have an opinion on how you will play a game like this. Traveling around, mining. Will you pop in? Will you follow Gamer Dad's way or will you listen to the the soundtrack? What's what's your style? No, I usually give a good half hour to a game soundtrack. Okay, okay. And then once I notice it repeating, which is about a half yeah. hour to an hour, depending on the game, I will turn that music volume down. You can't do this with Nintendo. They don't give you that option. Dude, and they I love it, man. <laughs> like they, they said, hey, you. you don't want to listen to this sort of music? Don't play our game. Don't like, play seriously, it. Mario Kart's 8 jazz trumpets and jazz, like, it's too much great but music. Don't, don't you just love it, though? They're just like, don't play the game, then. <laughs> it's like, ba da ba ba da ba da ba da ba just the jazz hands while Dude, I play Mario When Kart. we make our anime, I want you to be the scat. You, like, you be the music soundtrack. That's awesome. That's, a, that's Mario Kart 8. That's the soundtrack. Oh, my gosh. It drives me crazy. And you can't oh, oh can't disable any of that. They don't give you that options. Those so, options. A No Man's Sky, give me give me who you who you listening to. Oh, no I Man's listen. Sky. A game like that where I'm totally just relaxing. Yeah. Uh, I do the Power 80s. Power so, 80s. Yeah, so the, the Power 80s rock. I love my, my journey. You know, just you can actually, if you go on to like Pandora, just type in journey and you'll get a good, good uh, radio station. Yeah. I also like my. I also like a good little spice of '90s, like Weezer, in there a little mm, bit, goodness. you know. Um, the Weez. But if I'm really feeling it, I'll okay. throw on a, like for Pandora, throw in a band called Le Matos. I don't. I'm probably pronouncing it wrong. L a e l a m a t o s. Le Le Matos. Okay. And uh, it's like electronic music. Ooh, it's like okay. ch- think of it like chill daft daft punk. Okay. Oh I my gosh. Like daft punk. And oh man. Chill daft punk. Mm. Yeah. Like it's, if it's Jack, like that. If Jack Johnson synth. were to join daft punk. Yeah. Eighty synth, but it's like super chill. Okay. And that's when that's when I'm like totally relaxed, you know, and just I like that. Re- recharging the batteries. But then when there's boss fights, I'll throw in some Dance for the Dead. Which so is, do you do you pause and switch? Yeah, I will pause and switch. Oh. That's cool. I've yeah. never done that before. You make your own soundtrack. That's what I like about uh, the Xbox right now. It, when they added that feature... Oh, there's a cat in here. Sorry, you guys are allergic. That's okay. You're good. Megan! Uh, 
Okay, whatever. That cat's doing whatever it wants. Um, no, whenever... That's one of the th- reasons I liked when they introduced this, like two years into the Xbox, they added the background music feature uh, with Spotify and Pandora, and it plays music in the background. Uh, it's the greatest thing. Game you changer. can make your own soundtrack. See, I've never looked at it like that. That's a that you've just changed. You've just changed my perspective. Like uh, Warhammer. Warhammer is a perfect example where you can play. I'm just going to do a quick peek at this. Like just just this is Livewire by ACDC. Yeah. Just imagine going in and killing rats to this. Oh. You know what I mean? Oh. It's just like it just changes the bile game. Trolls. Oh. Killing some bile trolls. And you just like you're. This is the loading screen. You know. You're I've never. Pumped I've up. never looked at it. I've always so just I'm looked gonna, at like I don't like the music, so I listen to my own music. I've never thought of like I'm in a boss fight. Let's get some pumped up music. Yeah. Going. You pause it, switch over, or you know a boss fight's coming. Because oh, look at that. Look just at what blew that my mind. does. Yeah. I'm gonna. Just blew my mind. I don't right get sued, so I'm gonna turn that off. Just you know, blew that my was, mind. That was fair. Fair use. That was fair <laughs> use. We're commenting on it. Go buy their album. They're good. Wow. <laughs> Nick Spicy. Jordan, how about you? You uh, like a game like this, roaming around the galaxy, um, you throwing your own music, or you listen to the... Yeah, I, uh, I've i actually been... Uh, I, I will listen to probably Harry Potter audiobook, because oh. uh, I'm doing that series right now. Oh, very nice. Listen so. to the audio... Well, I actually Can have a... Can you do that? I See, I don't know if I could do that. Well, you're just clicking buttons. But, but I'm thinking when I'm playing games. Well, like, I... And Maybe I, I, it, de- I, it depends on the game because, like, for example, when I like do a little power questing in the MMOs, I have like a okay power uh, questing because you're just I have grind- a, you're grinding. Yeah, yeah, I have a like a questing playlist that I have on YouTube. But I honestly, actually, when I was playing Final Fantasy the other day, because you can read all the text, yeah. and when there's a cutscene, you can hit pass. I was just listening to Harry Potter. Mm. You know, uh, nice. Well, so books questing. on tape for you. Yeah. I listen to. I just typically stick with the game soundtrack. But, boring, but boring. Spicy, but spicy. <laughs> you know, you can leave. You've changed my perspective on this. It's so awesome. And with the Xbox, they have the background music. So whether you like Spotify or Pandora, I wish they allowed Plex to do that. They don't yet. And Plex is because then you could throw in your own yeah. music. Uh, that's my own music, and then I could do my. Do own they playlists. not have the feature yet? Like 360, you could upload your own soundtrack. You can't do that. They do that, but uh, it's kind of lim- they they limit it to 200 songs, and it's got to be on a flash stick. And that's not enough for you. 200 songs. Well, it depends on my mood. Oh, yeah. wow. Man, you are just... I like you my music. To, you need to teach me your musical ways here because I just go soundtrack. But well, I, I, I like that. I like that. That's a, that's. I See, I never looked at it like that. I just looked at it as, oh, I'm just listening to all the music. I was like, well, I'll just well think of think of uh, Wolfenstein 1. Remember okay. when you start climbing that yeah, wall? Yeah, but see, that music kicks in and you're just like, yeah. That's, the only, that's one of the games. But see, they don't overdo the music. Yeah. The music is not everywhere. Always, yeah. Yeah, and they only kick in in certain parts, which, I mean... Music makes a game so, so good. So let me ask you this. So like a, a Warhammer Vermintide where it's not story-based, what's more grindy, that's more, that fits more what you're doing with music. A game like a Wolfenstein or a Witcher where or so, something that's story-based, linear story-based where music is brought in to evoke emotion or tell to help tell the story, you can't, you can't really do that in that, do you? Well, I mean, so what we're talking about, we're talking about a game like No Man's Sky. Yeah, yeah. When we're vegan, you know, we're just relaxing and playing a game. Yeah. I a game like Wolfenstein, you, you and st- they do it well. You stick to game soundtrack in, in a game like that. Yeah, depending on the game, it, okay. like Wolfenstein. Yes, I okay. will absolutely do it. Whereas, I'll t- well, Doom just has heavy metal, so you so do and Doom's music fits killing devils like <laughs> yeah. all over the place. Yeah. Uh, but again, but Doom, you could still do your own soundtrack because it's there's no like story. There's no sounds there to evoke or tell a story. Yeah, very cool, very cool. Well, there yeah. you go. Great question, Gamer Dad. Thank you very much for writing in. Appreciate it. Laser Prime writes in and asks: Now that Ninja Theory started construction on a bigger studio, do you think their next title will be a smaller scale A or triple A title like Hellblade, or do you think it'll be a big? triple a title i think the expectation when microsoft buys you as a studio as a first party developer the expectation is triple a triple a games well you Am immediately you immediately probably quadruple your funding right? oh yeah i think they're Honestly, saying make us a good game we don't care how much it costs here's a yeah, blank check yeah do what you have to do i i think it'll probably this is just my opinion i don't know i think it'll be a triple a title with an indie feel you know what i mean yeah Triple A title with an indie feel because they're, they're, I mean they'll, they'll stick to Hellblade their roots. Hellblade was almost the triple A if you can. Si- I mean it's so well done. No, it really is. That's I mean they'll, you, you, they'll stick to their roots. The, the, obviously they're very good at polishing a game and telling yeah. a good story, right? I think they'll stick to their roots, which will give give it that you know that Ninja that, Theory feel that yeah. you know. But uh, I mean with, with a crap ton of money behind you, you can say, yeah. "Well, we had to cut this and we didn't want to." Now you don't have to cut anything. Yeah, you can do whatever you want. Yeah. 
do what you, I do what I want. I think it'll be triple A. You triple, I, th- I think it has to be. Yeah. I think that's the expectation. First party developer, it's it's the expectation. They're not they're not buying you to pump out indie games. They can go to they can go to a guy in their basement. Yeah, and go to Walmart right? for that. <laughs> yeah, like, you know, Walmart. <laughs> yeah, you can buy anything at Walmart. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, yeah, where's your indie game aisle for in, indie aisle developer seven. aisle? Just I, and I do agree eating. with Beast 420. Hellblade, I think it, it, it probably budget-wise it wasn't AAA, but it feels AAA. It's yeah. very high quality. So, anyways, that does us for today, guys. That's uh, yeah. another podcast down. This was episode 220. Mr. McSpicy, any any gaming plans this this week that... That you have specifically, mm. you will be yeah, streaming. Yeah, I, I was actually looking to get to the Octopus game. What's it called? <laughs> Octopath. That's the one. <laughs> Octopath Traveler. <laughs> You're gonna do what? <laughs> the Octopus. There game. is an Octopus. Remember Octopus Dad or Octo Dad? Octo Dad. Yeah. yeah, those kind of sound the same to me. Yeah, it so. really does. It really does. Octopath. Oct- Nintendo's Traveler. Octopus game. <laughs> yeah. And what about X- Xbox? Any, anything you would be oh, on Xbox? Overwatch more? No, I'm definitely. Oh, No Man's Sky is dropping. Yeah. What was that? Tuesday. Tuesday. Yeah, Tuesday. Yeah, I will probably. Monday night, if you're. I don't think I'll stream that game at first. I think I want to. It sounds like a game where I need to focus and not focus at the same time. Okay, yeah, I get that. Yeah, you know, yeah. so because with streaming, you have first to, is a game I would never play streaming Hellblade. Okay, because you would miss out on so much of the on, story. On so, yeah. yeah, so I don't know. I, I want. I'm definitely going to give that a try. I really like that style of game. I mean. That's just uh, I get to listen to good music and play games, so that's that's what I'm gonna do. Nice. But uh, as far as what I'm playing, I don't know that, and I will play Overwatch. What, how long doesn't it usually take two weeks? Two weeks for a new character to get into comp. How long does it usually take? Do you how come no they idea. wait to work out kinks and nerfs and? Well, they wait be, so people stuff? can understand the character and oh, the meta. And they put it into competitive, yeah. so yeah. they don't have to tweet out, "Don't stand in front of them." Yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> Remember that. Bastion's overpowered. Don't stand in front no. of him. <laughs> they actually said, everyone's complaining, Bastion's overpowered, and they actually said, you haven't figured out how to play against him yet. <laughs> yeah. We're not balancing him yet. Uh, Bastion's true. overpowered. Bastion's overpowered. Have you tried going around him? <laughs> yeah. It's, it's true. It's who funny. was the who ended, I don't remember who ended up being the counter Any to flanker, Bastion. Reaper, anybody, a shield. Do you, know what, the, do you know what the counter to Bastion is? It's hilarious. You shoot him. <laughs> <laughs> He's a stationary a s- target. A uh, sniper can counter him, so Widowmaker yeah. at the time. Uh, Junkrat will destroy him. Mm-hmm. Uh, Tracer can do him pretty well. Basically, you just shoot at him. That's I don't. I mean, even a Reaper. A Reaper has a pretty big hitbox, but you can flank. And what you do is you you get behind him because Reaper can get behind people. And actually, now that I think of it, Symmetra will be really good at getting behind people too with her teleporter. Mm-hmm. But all you do is get behind him, and when he's being shot at, you know, he he knows you're there. He turns around, you just go left, right, left. He can't shoot He can't you. shoot that fast. Yeah. yeah. Well, he can shoot fast, but no, he can't but I mean, shoot. like, he can't side go to side. fast. Yeah. Yeah. Side. yeah. So, oh, you just, the trick to, to, and everyone figured that out after, I think, season two, they figured out you just shoot the guy. And Bastion was, like, the most underused character after that. Well, he was underused because of all the toxicity and hate. People... <laughs> People would send you... There was a smear campaign against Bastion. There honestly was. <laughs> and I loved Bastion because at that time, Reinhardt... The Orissa wasn't a thing. Yeah. It, yeah. Was it was Reinhardt's Reinhardt, shield. Yeah. And Bastion was a shield breaker. That's yeah. what he's for. He breaks shields. He broke shields. the Protoss bubble, essentially. Yeah. Like that's what it is. And so is. that's why everyone was complaining because Reinhardt would put up a shield and Bastion would break that shield, which rendered Reinhardt useless. Oh, how do we fight against this character? Well, you... Try, try having p- people with guns shoot at him, <laughs> you know. Uh, so there was a smear. There was absolutely a smear campaign. That is hilarious. Well, I just remember there was a. I think there was a specific tweet that was like, oh, because someone they are all complaining. And Blizzard was like, oh, darn. Maybe you, what happens if you try a flanking character? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And that's how they reply. Oh, they're darn like, it. What if you try a flanking character? They're like looking. They're like nudging you. They did that with multiple characters though, because I think. The hero shooter when Overwatch came out was like because well, it came it out was, it was accessible for everyone. It's not a new concept, but for everybody at once playing, right? Yeah, you have all your consoles, PCs playing, right? Well, how many people had played the closest thing to it before that was t- uh, Team Fortress, right? How many yeah. people had played a Team Fortress? Yeah, not really. Yeah. That's kind of a niche game, specifically. So on the it PC, was. I so. just love the comments. Oh, darn! Try this. <laughs> no, they're just they. They're like, 
we're not going to tell you how to do it, but you're doing it wrong. <laughs> well, they, did, they said is, there was one tweet that said, try a flanking character. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, and, really funny. and even the easiest way is when a bastion is shooting at you with Genji, you just hit the reflect button and, <laughs> and it reflects all back to yeah. him. It's he pretty. Him, he ends up killing himself. Yeah. But now I think Symmetra will be because she's got those blue ball things that go out and kill, you know, and they're really fast. I think Symmetra now will be a. Well, they're faster. Symmetra. Yeah, they're faster and she can flank and she can do a whole bunch of stuff. I think she just nerfed Bastion pretty hard Hmm. now that I think about it. I haven't I haven't tested this. This is theory. Yeah. This is Overwatch theory. Yeah. Theory. Soon Uh, to be put into practice. Mm -hmm. So I'm excited. You'll be streaming this week. Yeah. What, any idea what game you'll be streaming? Do you know some more Warhammer Vermintide? Yeah, I, um, I, I want. I kind of want to switch it up because I basically streamed Warhammer all week. Yeah, yeah. I gotta figure out. I gotta figure out how long I should stream a game. I haven't figured that out yet. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Because yeah, yeah. I there's a. I mean there's two ways to go. There's we're, mathematics. We're a variety streamer. We can we stream are. whatever we want. Yeah. Which I don't know how often to switch or if I should stick. You know, f- I just play what you want to play. You know. That's what I like to think. Yeah, that's Tri- why I play trials. Today. I enjoyed trials today. Trials, you're gonna be doing. Oh, community, oh, community challenge. I beat the level that I've been stuck on for like four years today on trials. Yeah, you told me to go watch it. I have it. I have watch that. I have that saved. The so VOD. That I can go watch it. Yeah. Hour f- one hour forty eight minutes on you it. the VOD. Were you totally today. stoked? Oh my gosh! You were you just have, like celebrating. Well, because what happened? What I didn't know this existed. There's a timer that you will eventually run out of time. And I have been on this level for 28 minutes and 30 seconds. And a timer came on and said, you will be kicked out of this map in, in, th- in what, 60 seconds. And I had been at this spot for about 25, well, about 20, 20 minutes. I, it was just a hard spot, you know. And I'm like, oh, well, I'm, I guess I might as well just have to beat it. Let's floor it. And I did it. When pushed up against the, in a corner. You, I you, did you it. You delivered. You're clutch. I was that's so cl- that's clutch gaming. Proud. The, the fact that that happened blows my mind. Yeah, good job. I, I'm excited to go. It watch probably that. means nothing to anyone else, but no, to I'm me, excited to watch that. A level yeah, that I've fun. been working on for a very long time, and I beat it today. That's what it's all about, baby. Doctor yeah. Teeth suggested making a spreadsheet. <laughs> Can you make a spreadsheet about for trials? Maybe you probably. Can. I actually you build like with a times. Posse, yeah, with like, times yeah. I I did already in this game. <laughs> Uh, years ago, I did it for the big error map oh, that I, we were doing. Right, yeah. We're, yeah. We're you had stuff to... on your controller, not cheating, but like markers. You know, like you. Yeah, that is. Tape, a, that I is. tape. I taped arrows where my joystick should go. <laughs> to train. That's this. technical. That's technical. Oh, <laughs> uh, where can people find you? I'm on Twitter at Mr. McSpicy. But if you really want to find me, find me on Xbox. Hmm. That's where I like to be. And Discord. And Discord. Yeah, both those things. Uh, Mr. McSpicy on my Xbox, and it's. C E Y, so spicy with an E Y at the end. Yeah, Jordan, how about you? What will you be up to this week? Um, I will be playing more Vermintide. That game, yeah, it's just a solid formula. Right now, huh? Yeah, it's a fun game. I enjoy it. I like the dwarf. I like the people. I like saving the world. Boom! Where can people find you? Jordan the Man X O B everywhere. You know, I was thinking about changing my gamer tag this week to what? To what? To uh, Jordan the Lord. Oh, oh yeah. that's right. Yeah, we were yeah, talking about George that. the Lord. I don't know how long it would take me to get used to saying that because I remember yeah. George, the, George the Lord. Dude, that's a little epic. Dude, uh, but then I realized I'd have to go through like everything. So well, I, you've yeah. already done it a million times because you always <laughs> you forget well your password. Again. Yeah. yeah, this is true. I know, George like, the Lord every, is cool. all, my gamer tag is the same everywhere now. Like everywhere. Yeah, you there's have to go a place. Every single thing. It's there. It's there. So very nice. I am X One Bros everywhere. I will be out of town. This week, so I won't be able to stream. McSpicy's going to be solo, solo streaming it this week, carrying, uh, you know, the torch, carrying the torch for us. Boom! Killing it, nailing it. Um, and I'm so as a result being gone, I'm not going to have a lot of chance to play. When I get back, I don't get back till right before the podcast. I'm going to jump into some trials and just see where my time is in comparison oh, to everybody okay. else. So, so cool. we'll see how that goes. Thank you very much, everybody, for joining us. Appreciate it. Go uh, like, rate us, and review us. Subscribe to us on iTunes. We love you guys.
Hey guys, thank you very much everybody for hanging out with us. Thank you for joining us today. Always, always, always a fun time. I was just telling these guys, seriously, not having a great week. Come to the podcast, hang out with all of you guys in chat, and you, 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 cheer, it's, you cheer us up. Yeah, it's, it's hey, so much fun. I don't think we've talked about it, but it came out a while ago. Yo. I mean, the new mixer interface is really nice. Yeah, They've the new mixer interface is up. quite nice. Yeah. So yeah. more, more throw that features out. to come yeah. shortly. So there you go. Let's. Uh, we're back to say thank you to our producers. Uh, producers are anybody uh, who supports us on Patreon for $20 or more. We really sincerely appreciate you guys. We're actually getting ready in next month. I think our first round of producer shirts go out to anybody who's been a producer for six months. So our first one, I think, drops next month. So that's exciting. But as a producer, you get special producer credits. Let's uh, you ready let's for them? through them, baby. Yeah, they're let's on. wait for the... Oh, oh, Adam Painter, first and foremost, the man, the legend, uh, Alpha X Builder. Not left. I always want to say left for dead. That's not left for no, dead. No, dead rising. Dead rising. Andrew Goldberg. Oh, dark with the souls. souls. Getting some dark soulage. Beast Elist. The Beast Elisty. Beast 420. <laughs> what is that? Chief Wiggum 86. The Chiefster. He's the scary green guy that blows up. Oh. <laughs> Christopher Coran. Double C. Dude, that's a good one. I'm just going to refer to him as C Cup. Dark Knight. The yep. Darkness. Okay. They're I, up. That is exceedingly I like great. this. I get Dylan Domingo today. Woo! Woo! Double D. The D squared. Dominic DeBazio, also double D. That that picture is really cool. I want to get that actually hanging on our wall. I actually want that card. Freaky RO with uh, with a little bit of Siri. The Freaky Deaky. I actually really like that picture. Free Radical. Mm. Lord, mm. Of, the Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings. Like hey. a badass. Yeah. Greg Cheney doing a little fallout in New, New Vegas. Vegas. Happy Mayo. Sorry, I'm beatboxing. Oh, that's okay. Dude, Laura Happy Croft. Mayo's got Laura. Ooh. Laura. Michael Contini filmed the need. The I need got the for speed. speed. For speed. R56 Cooper. Battlefield? Life is a battlefield. For R56 Cooper. So Cooper. it's Cooper. Reactor, Reactor Lake, Lake, you Life cute, is also cute a, fox. Life is also a you red fox with fox. a lucky tail. Richard Brown. Is that? So the is that Mordor? Yeah, I have yeah, oh, Sal. Okay, yeah. RMG Gaming. With gears. He's gears. a cog. Oh, I bought the gears book, the prequel today. Ronin taking on the uh, Forerunners. Master Chief. Terry Aseppi. This is one of my favorite pictures. Rise. We got to get this in our studio. We're gonna get this I would like studio. that, actually, Ooh. a lot. Oh, That's thank good. you very much. We appreciate you guys. Thank you very much for hanging out with us, for supporting us. You guys make the community go round and round and round. Tell your friends. Till next week. I won't be here on our morning streams. Just make spice in the afternoon stream. This guy. So check him out. Hang out. We will see you guys next time. Have a great week, everybody. Thank you very much. Bye.